by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. <laughs> I was thinking I was going to have to present then. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Bit of a mad dash this morning. Sorry, everyone. Oh, hello. Let's Dan. How are you doing, Dan? Hello. I'm good. Oh, my word. We've got an amazing show today. I know. Yeah. Yeah? I've been so distracted this morning just going, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Professional coiling gizmo. Oh my word, it's coming up at about 11 a.m. this morning. I can't wait! It's gonna be amazing. It's an amazing tool. The best, the best of the best of the best. We have got an incredible show for you today. We've got three awesome kits. We've got, of course, the professional coiling gizmo, which is going to be absolutely amazing. We've got some amazing, gorgeous strands. Can I show you one of the strands we've got coming up today? This is just amazing. Look at this. This is just a taster of what's coming up. The most amazing strand of Labradorite coming up on today's show. We've got the last 89 in stock. It's going to go, baby. Absolutely beautiful. We've also got... Where are they? Oh, no. Where are they? They hit... Oh. These amazing clear quartz star cut rounds take a look at these oh my word the most amazing strand of clear quartz isn't it just delicious the fire i'm seeing from these incredible gemstones is quite incredible that's just it's just absolutely awesome this strand's coming up um, within the next few moments actually just gorgeous we've got loads of 925 selling silver findings we've got some brand new kumahimo findings um we've got uh, loads of cabochons we've got uh, bead scoops, we've got incredible gemstone bundles, we've got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. Right, now, um, last night's show, uh, as, in, as in the late show, we tried to bring you a deal just before uh, the end of the show, but unfortunately the graphics uh, broke or something happened to the graphics anyway, and it meant that we, um, it meant that we couldn't, um, could, could we actually end up doing the deal or not? We did it, but not everybody could get it because our graphics were broken. So, uh, for everybody who was watching last night, who maybe didn't get a chance to come in and get this incredible deal, um, you can come in and get it now. Um, 925 Sterling Silver Heart Detail Stud Earrings with Butterfly Backs. These are just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, so this is the early bird. Claire says she's got a surprise for the early bird. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, yeah! Look at it! Ah! That's an early bird! Yay! We've been going on and on. Well, I've been going on and on. Um, to everyone over the last few weeks saying, I hate the early bird. The early bird looks weird. It's got really small wings and a really weird beak. And uh, That's an early bird. Look at him. Beautiful Robin. Can we have another look at it? Look at it. Ah. He's done his hair. It looks like he's got a, a kind of fuzzy yeah. hairdo. What should we call him? Fred. Fred. Yes. Or Robin. Or Robin. Yeah, well, Robin. Robin the Robin. Um, oh, you are just so cute. Look at his little legs. Tiny little twig legs. Hmm. Little twig legs. Little legs made of twigs. <laughs> He's so cute! <laughs> cute! Oh, thank you, Claire. That was really kind of you, thank you. You're like, oh, lovely, lovely. Right, okay. Right. So, your 95 sterling silver heart earring, um, heart detail stud earrings with butterfly backs. Um, I don't know about you, I just wear these earrings on their own as they are. I just wear them as they are. Do you know what? I th I th not entirely sure I'd put any gemstones with these. I'd just wear them as they are. They're absolutely gorgeous. These are all 925 sterling silver quality. So what you're getting here is 92.5% pure silver. It's 92.5% uh, pure silver. 925 sterling silver. It's the same kind of silver that you will get on the high street. If it's 95 sterling silver, it's exactly the same as this. Um, 
I love that brushed finish on it, don't you? And that brush finish is actually quite interesting because it not only looks great, but it also serves a purpose as well. If you wanted to set this maybe with some enamel, you absolutely could do because it's got a bit of purchase because of course it's got that brushed finish on it. Absolutely gorgeous. If maybe you've got some of those um, permanent markers that you use sometimes with scale mail, you could put a beautiful little design on it if you wanted to. These are absolutely gorgeous. And all these earring studs come with butterfly backs. I'll show you um, um, a completed one of these so you can see the butterfly back on them. I've got loads of people coming through on the web and the phones already, which is great. Um, if I just hold them up with, if I hold them in my tweezers, then you'll be able to see the full earring, okay? So you're gonna be getting three pairs of these. So you've got your earring front there with the heart detail on. There's a post coming out the back and there is the uh, butterfly back on these as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, Deb, we've had some awesome sterling silver findings mm. in recently. Some really, really, really beautiful ones. I really love these. I love how yeah. simple they are. Because they've got that kind of brushed texture on them, I'm, I'm assuming you'll be able to set these with enamel. You'll be able yeah. to um, use a number of different materials on these, won't you? You could, because um, because the the um, texture is going to pick up and, and provide a key. Yes, absolutely. Things to, to stick to. Yeah. yeah. So well, you could set these with gemstones, couldn't you? You could you add could. gemstones onto these and they would look absolutely gorgeous. You could wire you up could. them if you wanted. You could do anything you like with these. And um, actually, on their own, uh, these gorgeous heart-shaped earring findings are just beautiful. You're going to be getting three pairs of these in the pack, okay? Now, you can get involved with Jewelry Maker in a couple of different ways, either by giving us a call on our free phone number at the bottom of the screen or by getting involved on our website on jewelrymaker.com. I just want to um, I just want to ask you a question. If you went into your local jewellers... Yeah. As we all do, you know, we look in the window of our local jewellers and they've got various different pieces of jewellery, haven't they? They tend to have sections for um, engagement rings, sections for birthstones maybe, sections for um, keepsake boxes, things like that. And they almost always have a sterling silver section and they have little um, trays of earrings in, yeah? I can imagine this pair of earrings, this completed pair of earrings with the butterfly backs, obviously, for sale in my local jewellers. Absolutely 100%. What kind of price point would you expect to pay for just this pair of earrings in that jewellers? In that jewellers window, what price would be underneath these? Now, I'm looking at these. These are 925 sterling silver. If I saw a price point below this pair of earrings, if I saw a price point of, oh, I don't know, 24.95? Do you know what? I'd think... Are they really, is that really sterling silver? Fantastic. Do you know what? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, absolutely, I'm gonna buy one of those. For just one pair, one pair of 925 sterling silver earrings. 24.95? Sounds good, doesn't it? How about under 20 pounds? How about 19.95? Let's say they're in the January sale. 19 pounds, 95p maybe for one pair, yeah? Sounds good, doesn't it? You're getting three pairs of these earrings for 9 95 and they are 925 sterling silver i'd just wear them like this i'd wear them as they are just just as 925 sterling silver mm. earrings I, I absolutely love them you're going to be getting three pairs here shoehorning them in the middle of my fingers there three pairs here and they all come with butterfly backs as well so three pairs of earrings for under 10 pounds i think that's an absolutely amazing price but do you know what? a great present as well great christmas present if you're looking for a christmas present dare i say it this would make a great oh no can i say that oh, i don't know even if you're looking for something really special to put in um, um as a table uh, present at christmas time or even in a cracker something really really special oh wow you know that'd be awesome wouldn't it why not? Um, these are, yeah, we, we haven't got measurements on these, so what I'll do is I'll get my, uh, the ruler of truth. Here's the ruler of truth. The rule of truth, it never lies. These are, here we go, if I just show you the widest part, show it right up against here. They're about nine millimeters in diameter, so about nine to 10 millimeters in diameter, okay? So really, really fantastic size on these. Really quite nice big earrings there. Well done. Got a few texts coming in as well. Uh, Tanya in Nottinghamshire. Morning, Carol and Deb. Loving the early bird. Yeah, he's lovely, isn't he? We just love him. He's all, he's all fluffy. He's got a lovely little beak and he's got lovely little eyes. He's got lovely little twig legs. We love him. Morning, ladies. Love the new early bird. So much better than the last one. See, you're all coming out of the woodwork now saying that, aren't you, yeah? I couldn't get anyone supporting me when I said, the early bird, it's a bit rubbish, isn't it? This new one, it's amazing, isn't it? Sorry, say again. Oh, yes, please. F colour would look great on them. Yes, yes, absolutely. Good idea. 
Absolutely F colour, 100%. Uh, and Amanda says, about £25 in my local jewellery shop. Do you know what? And, and, and I think £25 for a pair of sterling silver earrings, I think that's a, that's a really yeah. good price for just one pair. You're getting three pairs this morning. Three pairs for £9.95p. Now, if you're watching Jewelry Maker for the first time today, you might be sitting at home thinking, yeah, that's not me. Your local jeweller shop, yeah? They will have uh, maybe a pair of earrings like this in their window. How many pairs do you think they'll buy at once? Well, maybe 10, maybe 20. Okay, maybe 50 pairs, maybe 50 pairs. We won't buy 50 pairs in one go. We'll buy 300 or 400 pairs in one go. We'll have them all made. They'll all go through exactly the same kind of quality control process. They'll all be made with the same love and attention that the pair is in your, in your local jewellers. I'm absolutely certain. I can't vouch for their quality, obviously, but I can definitely vouch for our quality here at Jewelry Maker. So because we are buying so many more pairs of these, we can demand a better price point. We pay a better price point, and we pass that saving on to you. That's exactly what we do here. We cut out all of our middlemen as well. We've got our own lapidris. We've got our own gem setters for our... Um, for our sister channels, our own silversmiths as well, our own colour graders, our own um, 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 stranders. We've, we try and do everything in-house. We try and do all of our own designs as well here in-house as we can. Um, and by doing that, we outsource as little as possible so we can do everything in-house, so we cut out all those middlemen. If you think about it, when you buy a piece of jewellery from a jeweller's, quite often the piece of jewellery, when you buy it there, it's been through a, a what? seven maybe eight stage process from the mine to the gem dealer to the gem dealer to probably another kind of gem dealer and from that gem dealer maybe to the gem um, lapidus maybe then to the setter maybe then to the silversmith maybe then to the wholesaler then the retailer then you whereas we do all of that in-house so that's how we can drive our prices down and pass that saving on to you 9.95 for three pairs of your 95 sterling silver earrings absolutely gorgeous well done now we've got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads to get through on today's show so I've still got people coming through for those. There's still genuine chances available. Loads of you multi-buying, well done. Pop those there. Okay, now, this has literally just been bought over from our vault, which is about a mile and a half that way. Bought over by the lovely Steve, who's always got a smile on his face. We love Steve, don't we? He's lovely. Um, I've only got Mm, I've only got a hundred of these strands. Um, on Monday show, we bought you clear quartz in a couple, no, sorry, I've dipped one in three different sizes. They sold so quickly. I've only got a hundred strands of this. This is clear quartz with a difference. Check out the facets on these round gemstones. They're not the same as you would expect to get maybe on the clear quartz that we bought you on Monday show, so smaller facets. They're going to be more kind of hexagonal in shape, yeah. These are big, I don't know if you can see it, big triangular facets you're going to be getting on these gorgeous clear quartz. What you're effectively getting is a star-cut clear quartz quality. Absolutely beautiful quality. I mean, really, really stunning quality. Now, what's that going to do? It's going to give your gemstones a lot more luster. It's going to give them a lot more scintillation as you move the gemstone. If you're looking for a gem to give you sparkle, um, either go for very, very large facets or really, really, really tiny facets, kind of anything in between, it's gonna look great, but if you wanna get that really fantastic sparkle, you can see those facets there. Can you see that triangular facet there? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, because these gemstones have got such unusual fasting on them, they've got that star cut quality to them. Um, would I set them with another gemstone? Oh, do you know, I'd probably, I'd probably just have them on their own. Maybe set them with some nice smoky, um, smoky quartz. Maybe some of our connoisseur collection. Um, you could actually, because, because of the kind of quality you're going to be getting here, these would make great Christmas decorations, uh, great um, kind of uh, window hangings as well for this time of year. They're going to look absolutely beautiful. We've only got 100 strands of these, less than 100 now. Um, 220 carats of clear quartz star cut gemstones here. And if you're lucky enough to get one of the three strands we bought you on Monday show, then you're going to definitely want to get these as well because these are just that little bit different. Absolutely beautiful quality here. Huge 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 quality here now Deb working with a gemstone that's got different shaped facets yeah what can it do to your jewelry what does it do to your designs the first thing it does is make you look at the gemstone differently yeah absolutely and then consider how you can use it maybe in a different way or mm. with a different 
sort of combination of gemstones mm. and I think that's really useful because sometimes you get stuck in your ways and a bit sort of stuck in a rut mm. Mm. so just having a gemstone that looks that different mm. um, can can sort of shake things up a bit it makes you stop and think doesn't it yeah yeah it makes you stop and think and maybe reassess how you're going to use the gemstone. Yeah. I mean, you can all see the kind of quality you're going to be getting here, how different it is to maybe a really, really highly faceted variety of clear quartz. Absolutely beautiful. On this particular strand, because um, we've had a lot of people texting in over the last few days. Um, I don't know what your plans are for gemstone strands like this, but a lot of people texting in over the last few days, how many gemstones on a strand? I'll give this a very, very quick count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. 40 gemstones on this strand. Now that's gonna be enough, of course, for what, 20 pairs of earrings. And um, as these hang, as these dangle, as these turn, the light is just gonna love them. And it just it's just gonna give you a different kind of quality to the regular kind of checkerboard faceted clear quartz that you might have in your stash already. Here's your price point today for this incredible strand. Absolutely beautiful. Eleven pounds ninety-five P. Just such a different, different quality. I personally love these. These gorgeous Starcut gemstones are always going to be that center stage um, uh, gemstone. They're always going to have that center stage element. Well done. I've got a couple of you multi-buying as well. If you do want to multi-buy, then just go for it. Um, you're going to be getting not a 30-day money-back guarantee from Jewelry Maker. You're actually going to be getting a 94-day money-back guarantee. You've got until the 31st of January next year to get this home, to look at it, to hold it up to your neckline, to say, oh yeah, do you know what? I really like that quality. I see what Carol was going on about. If you're not 100 percent satisfied send it back we'll give you your money back no questions asked so no quibble money back guarantee but you are also going to be getting a number of things free with your first order as well free with your first order you're going to get a free tutorial booklet which is fantastic jam packed full of loads of tutorials and information in here absolutely wonderful 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 booklet uh free with your first order you're also going to be getting a free get started with jewelry maker dvd with loads of um, um tutorials on here as well loads of how-to tutorials so if you're brand new to jewelry maker um you don't have to worry about things like how to knot elastic how to open and close a jump ring here's a bit of information from one of the dvds as, uh, sorry from this dvd really nice and simple and easy to follow really really nice and simple and easy to follow you also get the jm hub magazine which is full of loads of great information about what's coming up over the uh, next month um, and the kind of gemstones that are hot right now and the trends which are trending um, you can also make the most of our YouTube channel I was on there this morning uh, looking back at a couple of shows that we've um, uh, put up there recently all of our live shows are put onto our uh, YouTube channel every single day you can also go to our Facebook page where we've got over 48,000 likes on our Facebook page amazing uh, you can go to my presenter page as well which is Carol C-A-R-O-L Roach R-O-A-C-H-E as in cockroach but with an E on the end and without the bit at the front. Uh, you can go to my presenter page. I'll try and update my page every single time I go to um, uh, do a live show with you. There's the information for our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. Awesome. And Twitter. We never really mentioned Twitter, do we? We go on our Twitter account as well. I'd love to hear from you. Gorgeous. So if you're ever in doubt about what to do with any of these strands or kind of, or kind of how to use them, use any of those facilities there and you'll be, you'll be well on your way with inspiration. Gorgeous, right, so star cut clear quartz, absolutely awesome strand there. Um, beautiful quality, loads and loads of awesome triangular facets, so different to the other kind of qualities of clear quartz we bought you in the past. Just a little bit more angular, that little bit more edgy. Beautiful quality, well done, 11.95, well done. Right, okay, next. Number 10. Okay. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Um, who was I talking to yesterday about heart-shaped gemstones? I think it might have been... Linda? I worked with two guest designers yesterday. Yes, it was Linda. It was Linda. Um, when you work with a heart-shaped gemstone, a lot of the work's done for you. If you were to make... Um, how, how can I explain this? If you were to make a ring out of a gemstone which is a coin shape and the coin uh, the round um flat coin shaped gemstones um sat on the back of your finger it's going to look beautiful in a gorgeous kind of wire wrap ring it's going to look really really nice if you replace that coin shaped gemstone with a heart shaped gemstone it's it's adding to the design it's a little bit of a different design from speaking to um one of our guest designers who comes to mark smith who um 
who um, still does uh, lots and lots and lots of craft fairs over in the Cotswolds um, um, at the weekends. He was saying if he has gemstone jewellery that's made out of heart-shaped beads or star-shaped beads or flower-shaped beads, they're quite often the first pieces to go, whether they're in earrings, rings or bracelets or necklaces. Um, uh, people are attracted to these beautiful, these really, really lovely, lovely shapes. And the heart shape is something which we're all familiar with. You, you quite often buy jewellery for people as well, or you buy it for yourself, don't you? You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that's quite personal. And if you're buying it for somebody for their birthday or for a Christmas present, um, it's bought with love, obviously. Shows you that you love them. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice. Um, now, two strands of heart-shaped gemstones here. Picture Jasper heart-shaped beads here. Absolutely gorgeous. These are 14 millimetres across. I absolutely love Picture Jasper. It reminds me of an antique map or cork. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like an Indiana Jones map, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful quality. Um, Picture Jasper is, is, is one of the lighter varieties of Jasper. It's absolutely gorgeous in quality. You get lots and lots of different markings in there. And the great thing about this, of course, is that every single one of these is totally unique which makes your strand unique. So nobody is going to be getting this same strand of gemstones, which I think is just wonderful. When we're talking about gemstones, it's just great, isn't it? Second strand, heart-shaped tiger's eye. Now, tiger's eye is quite a special gemstone to me. Uh, there's lots of myth and legend attached to this gemstone. Um, it is only myth and legend at the end of the day. I like to think there's sometimes a bit of truth in it, though. My, uh, my, uh, my uh, mum, when I went away to drama school, when I was 18, my mum bought me a tiger's eye bracelet, a stretchy tiger's eye bracelet. And doing a bit of research on tiger's eye, doing a, re um, a bit of reading about it, tiger's eye is one of those gemstones. The myth and legend suggests that this gemstone is meant to make you more creative, uh, more independent, more powerful, more courageous. Um, and I love the thought. I love the thought of that, of that myth and legend um, being attributed with a gemstone like this because I love the thought of wearing this gemstone and feeling more powerful, feeling more courageous. Like I say, it is only myth and legend at the end of the day, but what a lovely, lovely gemstone to have that myth and legend attributed to. It's beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous quality. Now, what you're seeing there is chatoyancy, which is a totally natural optical property. Um, granted, you, you, you see it more when the gemstone is polished, like you've got here, but it, uh, there's no diffusion, it's not been dyed, it's not been heat treated at all. This is absolutely 100% natural. Um, you're looking at light shining and reflecting from the inner silks inside the gemstones. Two strands of heart-shaped gemstone beads. Look how many you're getting on these strands, it's absolutely gorgeous. £8.95p. How amazing is that? What is that? That's just under £4.50 a strand. Amazing. And just imagine if you made a selection of rings out of these, each one of these, you'd sell these for at least a fiver each, wouldn't you? You know, for each ring, I'm saying. Not for each strand, for each ring. You're paying less than £4.50 a strand here. And as I move these gemstones, just look how many you're getting. Look how many you're getting. It's absolutely incredible. Deb, what would you do with these? Because I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting rings, but do you do something different with these, maybe? Um, I think I'd, I'd like to do them um, as a tassel. Oh, so nice idea. on a really long um, chain or, or cord. Yeah, lovely. And then have those tasseling off at the bottom. Yeah. Because you'd, you'd see them when they're moving and catching the light then, especially with the tiger's especially eye. Especially with the tiger's eye, yeah, definitely. But they make brilliant um, flowers as well because they're like petal shapes. Yeah, they do, so, don't they? Like, yeah. al almost like um, clover leaves, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're really, really sweet. I really like Deb's idea, actually, just getting a long piece of chain and having this at the bottom as, 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 as a pendant, maybe having some chain or some smaller mm. gems, and maybe some rosary link chain coming out the bottom as a yeah. tassel. That would be nice. Yeah, that'd be really Really, nice. really, really pretty. Just gorgeous. But heart-shaped gemstones, do you understand what I mean, Deb? But heart-shaped gemstones, anything which is an unusual shape, it does half the work for you, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah, it does. Well, it's like, it's like we were saying with those... Um, the clear quartz, oh, the star cut the ones. Star -cut mm. ones. It's a different shape, and it makes you think and look at the gemstone differently and use it slightly differently. Absolutely. But um, they sit together really nicely. Yeah, they do. Uh, as well. So if you do cuff style bangles, yeah, um, they they sit quite nicely if you reverse them. So have the point going in opposite directions. Yeah, yeah. Um, running along. So it's nice to play with the shape. And and let's, and let's face it, you know, everything that Deb's suggesting, it's not it's not a complicated idea. No. If you just wanted to make something, I mean, on our sister channels on. Um, Gems TV. I remember years ago, I used to do, we, we used to do auctions for tiger's eye bracelets, mm. stretchy tiger's eye bracelets, 
Um, and the tiger's eye was heart shaped, so I'll just, I'll just display it. I'll, I'll just kind of show you with the tiger's eye. Um, tiger's eye stretchy bracelets, just like that, simple as, yeah. Can't remember how much they used to be, but I think they used to be about between eight and ten pounds, I think, for one stretchy bracelet, for 9.95 maybe. I think it's about 9.95 for a stretchy bracelet. And we used to sell hundreds of them, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And I wasn't surprised because I thought, Do you know what, it's a lovely shape gemstone, it's a lovely quality. Yeah. stone it's such an easy piece of jewelry to wear why not why shouldn't we sell three four five hundred we can absolutely do that and i know that if today's um that if this opportunity wasn't for two strands but if it was for one tiger's eye stretchy bracelet and the price was 8.95 three four five hundred yeah absolutely they go absolutely amazing well done loads of you coming through absolutely gorgeous what a lovely bundle though for less than 10 pounds gorgeous quality well done everyone lovely Black and green agate. Coming up at 11, by the way. Sorry, I'm gonna keep going on about this. Go on, Mike, do, do, a, do a shot on this, Mike, that, that reflects how excited you are about this coming up at 11 a.m. Go on, go on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Excited shot, here we go. Yeah, he's so excited. The professional calling gets me. <laughs> it's coming up at 11 a.m. today. Can't wait! Honestly, I want it, I want it, I want it. <laughs> coming up at 11 a.m. You might get that one. You might be lucky. <laughs> the one that I've kissed. Uh, now, yesterday, on yesterday's show, we had a strand of gorgeous black and green um, agate. We didn't have time to bring it to you, unfortunately. Linda very kindly made some beautiful jewellery from it. Here it is. Oh, my word. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Wow! Beautiful! Talking to uh, Lily yesterday about um, big statement jewellery and just how big it is at the minute and how, you know, what a trend it is at the moment. Big statement pieces of genuine gemstone jewellery. Uh, the bigger, the better. And you can actually get away with wearing something very simple. Um, something as simple as just a lovely, a lovely um, tailored suit or a very... Um, um, plain you know little black dress something like that you know with lovely just lines on it no nothing too sparkly but but the center stage item being that whopping great big piece of jewelry now this with a little black dress awesome yeah beautiful have a look at the strand of gemstones here we have not had gemstones like this on jewelry maker for such a long time we had loads of people texting in yesterday about because we bought you a pink and black strand as well we had loads of people texting in about this strand um wow look at that it's like an evil eye, isn't it? It's perfect for Halloween. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, how awesome is that? <laughs> Goggly eye. Love it, love it, love it. The great thing about this strand is that every single one of these gems is totally and utterly unique. Doesn't matter which one that Mike shows us, it's going to be totally and utterly unique. Look at that. We are actually going to honour the price that we did yesterday for the pink and black agate strand. Um, you're going to absolutely love it. Loads and loads and loads of you were texting in about this strand yesterday saying, why didn't you get a chance to play it? Uh, we simply ran out of time yesterday. Um, here is your price point today, £9.95p. I love it. And that detail up there, a thousand carats. That's right, by the way. Approximately a thousand carats of gemstones here. At least, I should say, a thousand carats of gemstones in this one strand. How amazing is that? Because it's graduated as well, and it's gently graduated, which is which is a key. Gradually graduated. You've got um, gemstones in here which range from 12 by 7, which in itself is quite a big gemstone, although perfect for earrings, don't you think? Right the way up to 30 by 20 millimetre gemstones here, which are absolute, I mean, that is a giganticus gem, isn't it? Absolutely enormous. Look at them, aren't they beautiful? Well done, lots of people texting in as well. Mint chocky chip. <laughs> oh, mint choc chip's one of my absolute favorite flavors of ice cream. Haven't tried Hattie with that yet. I bet she loves it. She likes strawberry and chocolate ice cream. Honestly, it's just, it's just carnage. Favorite flavor of ice cream, uh, Deb? Um, I'm quite plain and predictable, oh. really. Vanilla oh. or pistachio. You're being serious. Vanilla is your favourite flavour of ice cream. Mm. Good vanilla ice cream. Oh, Deb. You can't Proper vanilla. Nail. Good. Yeah, good. Yeah, whatever. Vanilla. Or pistachio. Pistachio's good. More... Pistachio's good. Yeah. It's a bit more zhuzhi. What about you, Mike? Yep. I like it because of raspberry ripple. Raspberry ripple. I love mm. raspberry ripple. Or what's that? Um, cherry... Cherry... Stadslobi. You know the one that's made by that company? Um... Thingy door. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
it's like a cherry one and you lift the lid it's got cherries in it and bits of sauce and stuff and it's delicious my husband hates cherries he hates cherries oh my what's husband it? does as well what's there not to like about cherries doesn't like cherries messed with <laughs> don't mess with the cherry <laughs> you can anyway. pick it but that's it <laughs> how funny is that what about you amelia what's your favorite flavor of um, ice cream well it's not widely available but there's a certain restaurant and it's actually in stratford upon avon yeah they have made their own ice cream called black sesame it oh! Has to be tried to be believed, but you will literally. That sounds good. Yeah. Black sesame ice cream. Amazing. Sounds very exotic. Yeah, it's incredible. What restaurant is it? Really? Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh. Yes. Lovely. I might have to go there. Well done, everyone. Nine ninety five for your gorgeous minty chocky chip. Um, strand of gorgeous black and green agate graduated. Oh, I'm going to have to get some ice cream for tonight. I have to do it. I have to get some ice cream. I have to get some ice cream. Well done, everyone. Uh, 9.95 there. Isn't that just an amazing price point? Did I mention your PNP? 2.95 PNP per order. Even if you were to order a hundred, well, we don't have a hundred of these. But if you were to order a hundred of these, which are, which are going to weigh close to a metric ton. Um, you are still only going to pay 2.95 PNP per order. How amazing is that? It's incredible, isn't it? Gorge, a couple of you multi buy. And do you know what? I, I would actually advise you do multi buy um, a strand like this, just purely because you'll get it home, you'll notice how different the two strands are, decide which one you want to keep, send the other one back. You're not really going to send it back though, are you? 9.95. I think our returns rate, we were talking about this yesterday, our returns rate is under 4%. I mean, that's just unbelievable, isn't it? Why do you reckon our returns rate is so low, Deb? Um, because the quality of the gemstones, when you get them home, so. every time you open the packet, you just go, wow, because it's even better than you thought it was Absolutely. She's right, you know, whenever, um, this studio, she's right, she knows what she's on about. Oh, uh, this studio yeah. in here, we've got about, <laughs> I, was, I don't know, about 30 lights pointing at us, and that is not a lie. Um, I wish I could show you, actually. In fact, Mike, <laughs> can you see that light up there? It's really dusty. Probably shouldn't be showing that should way. Uh, but there are loads. There's about a dozen lights, and in those lights, oh, that, oh, that's okay. There's about a dozen lights, and in those lights, there are one, two, three, four <gasps> double strip lights. I know how to show the lights with a mirror. With a mirror, for a super duper thing. So that's a light up there. That's one light. But can you see in that light there are four strip uh -huh. lights? We've got about a dozen of those pointing at Deb and I. Um, <laughs> it's not the most flattering light, but it lights the set. It lights us. Um, and she's right, when you get gemstones home, they look even better because you're seeing gemstones under a much more natural light. This is not natural light at all. Honestly, it, it, it isn't. Um, so when you see these gemstones at home, they're even better. And I think that's one of the reasons why I returns um, mm. rate so low, coupled with the fact that our prices are so low as well. Amazing. Anyway, right, okay, here we go. So this is a lovely challenge. This, is, this isn't really a challenge, it's just, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> now, Martha, I had to physically prize these out of Martha's hands. Martha's one of our managers on Jewelry Maker and she's fallen in love with these two strands here. I had to physically prize them out of her hands this morning to bring them to the show today. No problems with her. No terms problems. But I said, no, the viewers need to see these. And she was crying. She said, no, I want to hold them forever. And I said, no, no, you can't. No, but quite seriously, she was going, look at them, look at them. I was saying, yeah, I've seen them before. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, but look at them. Yeah. Black agate faceted 10 millimetre rounds. Gorgeous. Anything black and sparkly, I'm a huge fan of. Ah! Whenever we bring you anything black and sparkly, instantly, instantly we have people on the phones, instantly we have people interested on the website. That looks great, doesn't it? What you're seeing there is light reflecting from the um, exterior facets or flat surfaces. And you're getting something called lustre. It's also referred to sometimes as scintillation as well. I prefer the word scintillation. I think it's a much prettier word. Um, so gorgeous, gorgeous scintillation, a real dazzling high-end quality from this stunning strand of black ag um, agate. You're then going to be getting two strands of rainbow-coated, crackled, clear quartz. Now, on first glance, this 6 mil and 12 mil strand they look like crackle quartz don't they and crackle quartz is a really beautiful variety of quartz it's quartz which is heated up to a very high temperature and then cooled down very quickly so you get that crackle quality within the gemstone it's very smooth on the outside but crackled on the inside it's really fascinating okay it's had a very delicate and i do mean delicate very very delicate mystic coating applied to the gemstone it's like a metallic based coating which is painted onto the outside of the gemstone 
In the past, um, and I'm very open about this, in the past I think some of our Mystic Coated Gemstones have been very, very heavily coated and it's very obvious that they're coated. What you're getting here, can you see, and I'll, and I'll use Martha's description, they look like bubbles and they really do. Um, I run a bath for my daughter every single night and, we have a, 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 and she has a bath, she absolutely loves it, she eats most of the bubbles but anyway, she, <laughs> she, she, she absolutely loves it. Um, and the colour of the bubbles in bubble bath, it's exactly the same colour you're going to be getting here. Can you see that slight iridescent quality, slight purples, slight pinks, nothing too overpowering, nothing too artificial if you know what I mean. Just a very, just the, just the faintest hint of mystic quality. I love it. With the crackled quality of the clear quartz, it works so beautifully, doesn't it? It's just gorgeous. Now, can you imagine making beautiful window hangings? Um, not, necessarily, not, not, not necessarily Christmas ones, but just beautiful little window hangings, hanging these in the window. Can you imagine what these are going to look like absolutely gorgeous now obviously you know black and white is always is always in um, especially around this time of year it's a really dramatic combination it's a real party season combination um, it's got that perfect balance between dark and light of course and it can be daytime and it could be evening at the same time depending on what you wear it with um, three strands here this is going to be Deb's challenge I can't wait to see what she does with these beautiful quality genuine gemstones we should be at £18.85p and do you know what it's hardly surprising. We've got lots of people who've come through already at £18.85p. You know it's going to be a fantastic price. You know, oh yeah, yeah, look, you can see those colours there, can't you, on the recording? Beautiful. £11.95p. That works out to less than £4 a strand for genuine gemstones. Genuine gemstones. Now, it's amazing, isn't it? Um, I was talking to, uh, I speak to lots of our guest designers about, about jewellery makers' products and our gemstones, and... The amount, and I feel so bad for the amount of people who just assume that they can't work with genuine gemstones. I can't work with gemstones because they're too expensive. I can't afford them. They clearly don't know about jewellery making. They clearly have no idea about jewellery making. Because if they did, and they knew that they could get three strands of gemstones for under four pounds a strand, that's not much to ask, is it? I mean, that's an incredible deal, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful. Eleven ninety-five for three strands of genuine gemstones. Tanya says. Why would you return anything to Jewelry Maker? Sorry, anything from Jewelry Maker. The products and gemstones are amazing. Oh, Tanya, thank you. Gorgeous, thank you. Brilliant, thank you. Martha, in Redditch, I love them. They're big, incredibly beautiful. Is that from, is that from manager Martha? <laughs> she just won't stop going, what about these gemstones? Enough no. already, Martha, enough. Get back to work. Yeah, what? <laughs> Honestly, I had to physically prize them out of her hands today. Yeah. She's like, yeah, but look at them. Look at them right in my face. I was like, yes, I know. I know they're beautiful. <laughs> Enough. Deb, what are you going to do with them? Do you like, do you like these I gemstones? What are you going to do with them? I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, Don't give them to Martha and just look at them because she'll run off with them. No. I'm tempted to um, crochet with the elastic with, the, the, with these ones on them. And then oh, but, wow, I love the idea. separate them out because the elastic's thicker than the monofilament and it gives a really nice texture. And I'm just trying to. That sounds awesome. So, crocheting the, the elastic. Holes. Yeah, you know, we had a text yesterday, I think Claire's saying, um, who's directing. Um, Sasha, do you beg your pardon? Um, somebody asking if we could see more demos with elastic. That would be oh, okay. brilliant. Yeah, I'll do that then. Yeah. Crocheting with elastic. So, yeah. why elastic? Why not hemp or Eslon or. Well, any other threading material the elastics just a really nice texture it's super it's soft mm. when you when you crochet with it i've made some bracelets with it in the past and um when you crochet with it it give just gives a really nice texture and you can see it, it's soft and it's um it's a bit chunkier than the monofilament and i don't want the color with it I, i'm sort of looking at these and just loving them as they are yeah do you know what? that's a really good point actually Deb because um, a lot of people um, a lot of people when you make a stretchy bracelet you want to hide the elastic isn't it nice that mm. Deb's making an actual concerted effort to show the elastic it is super soft it's a really it beautiful is. material yeah. to use I can't wait to see it. that's going to be brilliant ah <laughs> oh, wicked brilliant. awesome so that's going to be uh, so that's going to be Deb's challenge for today 11.95 well done everyone woo 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 okay right um 
Oh, this. Oh, this. Oh, yes. Sorry. This is. Uh, yeah. Oh, this. This old thing. <gasps> Go on, Mike. You know you want to. <laughs> the professional coiling gizmo coming up at 11 a.m. this morning. Amazing. Have we got any more 925 uh, findings coming up? Yes. Yes. Now, this is something that Danny, who's producing today, wouldn't stop going on about. Tell you what. Getting, getting it from all angles today. I have. Check these out. Honestly, when Danny and I saw these this morning, we've seen, we've seen a picture of them. And the picture's, the picture's um, good, but when you see... Oh, wowza. 925 sterling silver earring findings. Oh, my word. They're beautiful. Coming up in the next hour. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, right. First brand new kiss, everyone. Right. This kit should come with a warning. This is enormous. I think moving forward with our kits here at Jewelry Maker, I think you're going to see a lot more kits like this because I know, I know. It's one of those kits that I looked at this morning and I said, well, that's going to sell out. It's one of those, it's one of those pieces. Sometimes I look at bundles or strands or I look at or whatever and I said, well, well, that's going to go. It's something a bit different and you're going to love it. You're getting loads in this kit. I mean, tons. I'm gonna to start off by showing you the findings in this kit. With all of our kits, we like to bring you findings. Um, we can give you a variety of findings. We can give you silver plated copper, rose gold plated copper, um, silver plated, um, sorry, I beg your pardon, yellow gold plated silver, or 925 sterling silver, or rose gold plated silver. Um, these are yellow gold plated copper findings, okay? You're getting 118 of these in total. Having findings like this in a kit is wonderful. There are very few other places that I am aware of where you can get a findings pack with this amount of variety. So where you're going to be getting three different types of head pins, where you're going to be getting two different types of um, earring findings, where you're going to be getting two different types of jump rings, three different types of um, toggle clasps, where you're going to be getting extender chains, where you're going to be getting crimp beads and crimp bead covers. I don't know anywhere that can offer you this amount. I mean, look at the difference in the toggle clasps. You're getting that one there. Beautiful. You're getting that one there. Amazing. And you're getting that one there. What are the finding packs, do you know, that gives you three different types of toggle clasps plus two different types of earring findings plus three different types of head pins. I mean, these kind of findings packs are just wonderful, 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 okay? So you're getting 118 yellow gold plated copper findings in total, okay? A meter of this chain, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm now going to move on to the threading pack. Okay, so the threading pack is um, included in this kit. It gives you monofilament, beading thread, and elastic, which is awesome. Great, 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 great for the gemstones which are in this kit, by the way. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to move on now to the wire you're going to be getting with this kit. Because, yeah, you're going to be getting wire. 10 meters, 10 meters of 0.6 millimeter gauge copper wire. Okay, you're also going to be getting another 10 meters of gold plated not gold colored gold flavored gold plated precious metal plated copper 0.6 millimeter gauge wire so both these spools of wire are giving you 10 meters of wire both of them are 0.6 one of them is copper the other is gold plated copper you're also going to be getting an orange and red bead scoop. Orange and red bead scoop. Uh, you're going to get a variety of gemstones. Um, some of the gems I've got in here, I've got a tiger's eye, an enormous tiger's eye. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I've got um, a top drilled jasper. Uh, some gorgeous shell here. Oh, that's another massive tiger's eye. Gorgeous. Lovely star shaped shell. This is just absolutely gorgeous. There's some gorgeous poppy jaspers here, some beautiful round poppy jaspers, some pearls as well. 
some gorgeous agate, more star-shaped shell, more awesome tiger's eye. You're getting a whole selection of gemstones in here. They're all going to be kind of oranges, reds, browns, and yellows, okay? So you're going to be getting a bead scoop, okay? And... Oh. My. Word. These have never been to air before. Now... Based on the carrot weight, you are getting 980 carats of zebra jasper. Okay, now in this particular kit, i.e. the one that I've got in front of me, I'm getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 cabochons. 18 cabochons, and I'll show you some of them. I'll show you examples of some of them. You're going to be getting ovals, okay, ovals, teardrop shapes, smaller ovals, larger teardrop shapes, larger ovals. I mean, you could literally get anything, okay? Now, I can guarantee you're going to be getting 980 carats of zebra jasper. I can't guarantee how many cabotons you're going to be getting. In this kit, I've got 18, but it could be anything from kind of 14 to low 20s, depending on the size of the cabotons. It's all based on the carrot weight, okay? In this kit, like I say, I've got 18 individual Zebra Jasper cabotons. Now, the jewellery that Deb has made with this kit is so different. It's so beautiful because she's had such interesting qualities to work with. Really, in this kit, you're getting the equivalent of, I, 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 don't, I wouldn't even like to say how many different varieties of gemstones you're getting in this kit. I mean, dozens, dozens and dozens and dozens, everything from tiger's eye to jasper, um, to zebra jasper, to picture jasper, to pearl, to shell, to shell pearl, to poppy jasper, to agate, to, um, oh, there's some, um, there's some, there's some beaver pearl in there by the look of it as well. You know, you're getting absolutely loads of variety in this kit. Now, the price point this kit should be today, are you going to show us that price, Danny? Is £48.70p, okay? Okay. Now, that you're going to be getting as part of this kit 980 carats of cabochons which in this kit is 18 cabochons and you're going to be getting 118 findings and you're going to be getting a threading pack and you're going to be getting 20 meters of wire and you're going to be getting a bead scoop as well do you know what i can see i can see where all of i, I can see where that comes from and 48 pounds 70p actually do you know what that's a brilliant price isn't it it's amazing it's amazing i'd be more than happy at that price point but we can go lower we can go a lot lower Here's your deal. Brand new Zebra Jasper Cabochons. These have never been to air before. Brand, those are brand new Cabochons you're gonna be getting here. And you're getting your bead scoop. And you're gonna be getting your 118 gold plated copper findings. And you're getting your threading pack. And you're getting 10 meters of copper wire and 10 meters of gold plated copper wire as well. I mean, this is absolutely amazing, 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 amazing. And it's such a different kit. I absolutely love it. Now, okay. Jewelry that Deb has made is astonishing. I mean, absolutely astonishing. How many cabochons did you get in your kit, Deb? Do you know? Counted 18. So you got 18 as well. It's a lot of cabochons. Mm -hmm. It's a Tears. lot of cabochons that you've got there. I mean. Oh no, 19. 19. I forgot that one. Yeah. Whoa. 19. 19. <laughs> Just to let you know, Laura Binding's watching, um, who's one of our um, uh, guest designers here on Jewelry Maker. It's Laura from JM. Could Carol please pull more faces? Oh, all right then. <laughs> uh, but well done, everyone. Um, Laura, brand new cabotons, by the way, love. You might want to get on the phone lines for this. Yeah, get involved. 34.95, absolutely amazing. Now, Deb, 
I'm going to head over to Deb now. I'm getting loads of text messages in about this kit saying what mm. an awesome idea, what a great new concept for our kits. I mean, I, I, I love it. A kit that gives you the freedom of working with a bead scoop. Yeah. So you've got loads of different gemstones. I mean, you've got, if you wanted to get, if you wanted to buy, if you wanted to buy a strand of all the gemstones that are in this kit, you'd have to buy, what, 20 strands of gemstones? Yeah. I mean, you're getting yeah, you've so got... much variety in this kit. It's quite incredible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it's, wow. it's really interesting to see what you do get in your bead mm. scoop and then how you can use them together. Oh, wow. And how they, how they all work together as mm, well. Definitely. Now, look at this gorgeous toy that Deb's made. This is like a designer inspiration in a kit on a morning show, isn't it? I mean, I, I don't, really don't know where to start with all that. Look at this. In this one neckline piece here, did you say there were seven cabochons in this? Yeah. Seven cabochons. That in itself is incredible, isn't it? That's a designer inspiration show in one piece of jewellery there. Done. Yeah? It's actually in a kit... And there are even more. I mean, this isn't even half the cabochons uh, that are from the kit that Deb got um, to work with. You've made one, two, three, four, five statement neckline pieces. Yeah. Do you want to show us what you had left over? Got Look all at all of this. Deb had all of this left over. All of those cabochons, all of those gemstones in that scoop. Oh, that's quite incredible. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, and I've got wire left as well. So I've got... Oh, wow. Good amount of wire left there. Um, oh, yeah, look, you've got some gold well. wire as well. Yeah. Gold-plated wire. So Beautiful. That's like a kit's worth of, kit of gemstones and wire yeah. there, isn't it? It is, really. I'd be happy to get that just in a kit. You know, just, just that in a kit. Wouldn't you? I mean, that's a kit's <laughs> worth of gemstones and wire, isn't it? Absolutely. And that's just the stuff that's left over. Amazing. Now... What do you want to show us um, technique-wise? I mean, I know what you really wanted to show us, but it would just take way too long. You yeah. wanted to show us this pendant here. Yeah, um, I really love it. It is the, beautiful. The, the way it's it's almost just suspended. It's it's almost barely captured in there. So it's beautiful. Um, um, but that is a designer inspiration yeah, show, I think. Yeah, it would take a bit too long. It, it, it um, really is. The one on the end though. here mm. is, is a lot quicker. Yes, so. please, we'd love to see that. Look at <clears> this. Because you're going to be getting so much, so many cabochons in this kit, um, Deb had eight, uh, 19 in her kit, I had 18 in the one that I've got over there, you're probably going to be getting around about the same kind of, um, yeah. same kind of amount. Uh, we thought, you, you know, we've got to see something, how to set a cabochon, how to, how to work these gemstones into your design. So, great little technique coming up. Here we go. Let's get rid of these. Pop them out of the way. Okay. So, um... I love the shape of these. Oh, they're, they're just so gorgeous and they're really smooth as mm, well. Very, very smooth, um, very tactile. They are. Right, so to get started on, on that pendant, mm -hmm. um, I've twisted together, it's probably two metres in length, of um, each of the wires. Mm -hmm. So I've got um, two metres of the gold, two metres of the copper. Lovely. I just, I just need to interject very quickly. Um, the, wire, the professional wire corning gizmo that we have got coming up at about 11 p.m. 11, 11 a.m. Um, this morning, <laughs> um, you can twist wire on that wire corning gizmo. So if you don't have a wire twisting mm. tool, don't worry, we've got the wire corning gizmo, the, 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 the professional one coming up at 11 a.m. so you can do it with that. Yeah, Gorgeous. that's brilliant. It's mm. so vert versatile Yeah, it's as well. wonderful. Okay, Lovely. And, um, so I've left it, it's actually all, all the, the wrapping on that pendant is all done in one piece. Oh, wow. Um, Gosh. So there's no sort of difficulty in terms of um, starting and finishing mm -hmm. anything. So what I, I, I did to start with was right in the centre of, um, of the length of, of wire, I started to make some um, prongs so that it could then mm -hmm. be um, sort of folded around. So this is quite scruffy at the minute. I've got the um, I've got the, the the wire prongs here, and then I've just wrapped round with some of the uh, the gold plated copper wire. So to make um, to make the prongs. Now I'm not one for measuring 
and no, working it all out mathematically. Um, so I'll just show you how I've made these. What I did was I took the, the gemstone um, and fitted it into the curve at the bottom of the wire and worked out where I wanted my prongs to be coming up. Um, so you need to support it at the bottom of the stone and then just brought the wires round. So if you bring it round, what happens is that we'll cross it over at the top of the gem. So um, it's a really easy shape to work on for this technique. So halfway up on each side, I want to put another prong. Um, so it's about here. So what I'm going to do is take my flat nose pliers and push the wire all the way up. So it's almost right at the end. Ah, right, OK. So you don't take it all the way up because it will get caught and, and you can damage your wire. But if you take it probably halfway, yeah. you can see there it's on the flat section. Mm -hmm. So then press the wire up at the back in a right angle. Yeah. Turn your pliers round and rest them right up into the corner that you've just created. Bring it back, take your pliers out, and then just using your fingers, bend it all the way around. So you've then got this. Now most of the um, most of the prong will actually be um, covered up with the wire wrapping. So it's quite good as a way to to practice and to get your prongs. Yeah. Um, you know, practice actually making them. Um, and then you're going to cover up. So if they're a little bit messy, you know, it's not the end of the world. Taking um, just a short length of, of the, the gold-plated wire, mm -hmm. I've wrapped round the prong just to hold it all together so it doesn't pull apart. <clears throat> so snip that off there. Lovely. OK. And then I'll wrap this one that I made earlier as well, just to hold that. Just a couple of wraps, two or three. Snip it off. Now at this stage, don't worry about those ends because they'll disappear. And then what you do, take your gemstone. Lovely. Hold it in the, the sort of flat against your fingers, wrap the wires around and then you just pull it in together yeah. at the top like that and it needs to be at this point just slightly smaller than the gemstone mm -hmm. so you pull it in a little bit tighter than the gem and then just twist those two together. Lovely. Just a couple of twists. And then um, what you do after that is bend your, your prongs down. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can use your fingers or your pliers and just bend them in. If you support the wire frame mm -hmm. with your finger so it doesn't um, sort of twist out too much. Yeah, okay. And that's starting to, to capture the gemstone then, mm -hmm. your, your cab. Okay, pull those over. <clears throat> so there you've created a frame for the stone to sit on and be supported at the back. Lovely. And you've got your prongs holding your gemstone in. Oh, lovely, okay, yeah. And then um, just using round nose pliers, at this point you create, which are there, they're hiding, create your bail section. So I'm just going to bend the wires over. Again, it's not particularly neat and tidy at this stage. Okay, holding it there, mm -hmm. I'm just going to wrap round with, again, a small section of my wire. It could be the gold, could be the, the 
colour, doesn't matter. And Bye. then this is the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> you then start to wrap this section, your twisted oh, wire. Awesome. Around the outside of your shape. So Paul, it's a bit you think is this actually going to work? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it round the back of your bale. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's going to help to anchor it, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Just keep going. Okay. And then um, what I did was pull all the wires together mm -hmm. um, using some of the. Whoops, hang on, I'm getting caught up in my pliers now. Um, using some of the the gold plated wire yeah so just another small section and oh, just I see. Okay. then you wrap round at this point wrap round the back of the frame mm -hmm. and that starts to pull everything and tie it all together <clears throat> but this will disappear mm. as you wrap more with your, oh, your I twisted see. Yes. wires yes. Mm. so you lose that then so that's starting to hug the gemstone. Just takes a bit of pulling. Because obviously you've got two um, two sections of wire, two lengths of wire going round. So it's quite a nice strong frame and supports itself. And what you can do every now and again is just wrap around the bale section mm -hmm. and then bring it back round and wrap again. And then once you, <clears throat> if we chop that off, keep going, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> losing my voice, Blimey. <laughs> Go on, cough it up. Sorry. Um, just tuck, tuck the tails in. Mm. If you could try and keep your voice till one o'clock, that'd be great. Thanks, <laughs> Cheers. I'm not getting this lurgy, am I, that's going on? I don't know, I'll get it. Yeah. Behind me. No, it's nothing what you're doing here. It's just adding to the strength, isn't it? And adding yeah. to that kind of yeah. um, border. So you just frame. keep wrapping. Um, I'm tucking in the outside frame mm -hmm. and the one on the back as well. Lovely. <clears throat> Pull it with pliers. Mm -hmm. Give it a tug. Yep, pull it through. Gorgeous. And if you've got any um, bits starting to stick through, just trim them off. Looks really scruffy. No, it's great. Poor Deb. <coughs> I don't know what's happened. No, it's it fine. It was fine. Just tuck through there. Awesome. So that's really that's, oh, that's really, really it. it. So Isn't you that just gorgeous? keep keep um, going round, tucking it through, mm -hmm. in and out until um, it's all secured all the way round. Gorgeous. So it's it's actually quite easy to do. It is. It's a lovely little um, technique. It just and, takes a little while to yeah, to get it does. It neat. But once you're started, actually, you just keep on increasing <clears throat> that strength and increasing yeah. that frame. Yeah. You actually end up with a really beautiful organic-looking piece of jewelry. It's so sweet, isn't it? It's just wonderful. Thirty-four ninety-five. Don't forget the cabochons in this kit are one hundred percent brand new. Nine hundred and eighty carats of gorgeous mm. jas uh, zebra jasper cabochons. Not to mention which twenty meters of wire and of course that awesome orange and red bead scoop as well. Fantastic kit this one at 34.95 gorgeous thanks a lot for that deb thank have you have a drink uh, oh, yeah. we'll see you over <laughs> the hub in a couple of seconds <laughs> Well, as I'm not working tomorrow, I didn't think I could let Cassie be the only one in fancy dress. Am I giving anything away there? Ah! Anyway, I wanted to push with you the very last chance that you have to enter <coughs> Alison Terry's Wirework Pumpkin Competition. So if we can get a quick close-up on this wonderful, wonderful make, 
we've been promoting it quite heavily over the last few days so you should be well aware of where to send all of your entries to but I'll go over it just once more just in case you um, are new to this channel so to get involved with this lovely competition we are um, asking you to send your pictures of your wirework pumpkins in to the hub at jewelrymaker.com and we're going to be collecting all of those entries we've had quite some fantastic ones sent in we're going to be printing them all out and showing them live on the show tomorrow we've got some prizes for you as well if I hadn't already um, uh, notified you the first prize is a place on one of our fantastic workshops the second place is a 30 pound gift voucher and the third place is a mystery bead scoop so whichever of those you win you're going to be glad to get a spooktacular deal um, by sending us in your wonderful makes so I've also got a live question for you as well which we're going to um, push on the show today we're quite interested in how seasons play a part in your jewelry making now how far do, uh, do you tend to buy or make your jewelry and do you these jewelry pieces out of season because obviously if you've got some fantastic frozen inspired jewelry or some wonderful kind of summer makes do you wear those all the way through do you like to wear summer throughout the year with your outfits or do you tend to save them for the next year anyway if you could get in touch with us text us to uh, usual number six zero triple seven starting with JM studio and we will read those out on air fantastic oh, hello Carol beautiful little cat Ah, would you, you like could be the whiskers? JM cat? You could. Are we going to read these out? Did you read these out? I haven't read them out yet. Would you like to read yeah, them? Yeah, read them. Oh, we can read Fantastic. them. Out. Oh, come on, let's do one each. Okay, okay. Do okay. You go first, Amelia. Right, I've got number two six nine here. Wonderful, and this is from Jackie Kensington. Hi, all at JM. Attached is my entry this week, and it's made from hammered 1.5 gold wire from JM. I've ordered a whammer hammer, and I'm looking forward to it arriving and seeing the improvement on my wire work. Thanks for the great prices, as it is much cheaper than elsewhere. Oh, thanks, Jackie. That's wonderful. Thanks, Jackie. Gorgeous. I like giving the whammer a good old whacking. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much uh, for that, Amelia. What I get up to in private is no concern to anyone else. Number 270 from Bernadette Ward in Gloucestershire. Um, hi all, this is my uh, week's entry to the uh, Wall of Fame. It's in my attempt at a hair comb. All items from Jewelry Maker, but can't remember what the gems are. I'm becoming hopelessly addicted to Jewelry Maker, uh, so I could do with the win to feed my addiction. Good, uh, good luck to all of us, and that's from Bernadette. Thanks, lovey. Gorgeous. Right, coming up. Hey. Amazing strand of Labrador. Right? Oh, Check this out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. Also coming up, orange agates. Oh. Labrador's coming up just after the break. Orange agates coming up a little bit later on in the show. And here is a bit more information about our awesome Halloween show uh, coming up uh, in the next 24 hours. <laughs> Tune in this Friday for our chilling Halloween special on Jewelry Maker. Join us on the morning show with devilish Lucy as she offers you terrifying deals on Tanzanite, along with her grisly ghoulish guest designers Fiona and Alison. They'll take over throughout the day and lead you into amazing inspiration from one o'clock with Batty Becky, who will give you the chance to own 850 carats of rainbow coated agate. Be sure not to miss out on the scary savings on The Late Show with the Lord of the Underworld, Ed Mackay. That includes a shockingly low deal on Garnet. Live from 9am to 9pm only on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the watch live button on the front page. You can also use our refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
We all know having the right tools for the job is important, so we here at Jewelry Maker have designed a toolkit which includes all your essential pliers for jewelry making, including round nose and flat nose pliers, wire cutters, as well as a bead reamer, snips and tweezers. You've got everything you need for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or, alternatively, go to our website and click on Watch the Live Show. Simply type your message into the box and press Send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Tune in this Halloween and grab yourself a spooktacular deal with our spooky mystery gift. You'll receive a surprise full of fantastic treats and goodies with a huge saving guaranteed. The Spooky Mystery Gifts, Friday, October 31st. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Oh yeah! So, go on Mike, it's that time again. Oh, yeah. Here we go, here we go, he's on cameras. <laughs> Professional calling gizmo coming up at 11 a.m. That's less than an hour! <laughs> Come and live with me. Come and live with me. Oh! Coming up at 11. Very excited about this. Just a little bit. Says Mike. Mike's excited. We're all very excited. Okay, so that's going to be coming up at about 11. Um, also, oh my word, Shepherd took earring findings. Amethyst. Labradorite. It's all looking amazing. So, would you like to make earrings like this? Deb, be honest. How long did it take you to make these earrings? Um, probably took about a minute. What? What? A minute? A whole minute? I think that's amazing. It probably took longer to find the um, head pins in the packet than it did to make them. This is incredible. But they're gorgeous, aren't they? Those, those earring findings I love them they are just beautiful um with just highlighting the fact that these earring findings are so easy to use um Deb has made for us for for me obviously <laughs> um, a pair of gorgeous pearl earrings using these brand new 925 sterling silver earring findings okay these are brand new let me show them to you Okay, each one of these earring findings is beautifully formed. Okay, beautifully formed. You are getting, I don't know if we can see this, you are getting a 925 stamp on this. Just there. Can you see it? Yeah, it says 925 on it. 925 stamp. Just there. Um, it's a 925 stamp to signify that what you're working with, what you're looking at, what you're buying is 925 sterling silver. Look at this detail here. Honestly, I was expecting these to be absolutely gorgeous, and I tell you what, they were even better than I thought they were going to be. They've got a lovely little open loop on the back of them, so if you want to dangle gemstones from these, you're absolutely welcome to do. That's exactly what Deb's uh, done. She's just attached a, um, um, a head pin with a, a beautiful pearl on, and just loop them over and attach them onto the earring finding. In this pack of 925 sterling silver earring findings, which are brand new, as the uh, details suggest, 100% brand new, you are going to be getting six pairs 
of these earring findings, six identical pairs of these earring findings. If you are one of the, um, if you are one of the few people who are allergic to certain base metals, then it's very important that you wear precious metal. And probably the finding that it's, uh, that is the most important uh, finding for you to have that's made out of precious metal is the earring finding because earring finders go directly through your ear. It's not uh, like a bottling class that sits uh, just on your skin. They actually go through your ear. So if you're allergic to certain and you can only wear precious metals so you there may be certain gemstones that you only want to use with precious metals um such as um i i would suggest pearls um smoky quartz um really great quality uh feldspar as well and of course the big four uh gemstones as well emerald ruby sapphire and diamonds um now these are 925 sterling silver we were talking a little bit earlier on about the kind of price points you would expect to pay for a pair of 925 sterling silver earring um, um, earrings in your local jewellers. Details at the bottom of your screen are for the heart-shaped earrings uh, that we bought you a little bit earlier on. And I was suggesting maybe for a pair of earring, uh, sorry, maybe for a pair of 925 sterling silver earrings in your local jewellery, you might expect to pay what 20, 25 pounds, maybe even more than that. In the in the January sales, maybe under 20 pounds, maybe 19 pounds 95p. Okay. You're getting six pairs here. So many of you have already come through to get these. Absolutely gorgeous. So many of you have already come through to get these. This really is going to go so quickly. Here is your, oh my word, look at the call screen. Goodness me. Here's your deal today. Enjoy. £17.95p for six pairs of 925 sterling silver earring findings. Uh, yes. Yes, I think I'll have 10 of those, please. Goodness me! That's £3 a pair. Deb, do you know what? There is no way in a month of Sundays if these no. earrings, just these earrings, so not even with, um, um, with gemstones on, these earrings were for sale in my local jewellers in Stratford that they'd be sold for £3 a pair. No. No, not at all. And you could wear them just like that. Yeah. I know. I know. You and do you know something? Could. Do you know something else as well? With earring findings like this, when did you get your? You, you've got your ears pierced. When did you get your ears mm. pierced? Oh, 30, 40 years ago. Thirty, forty years ago. Okay. So, um, to get to get my ears pierced, um, uh, pierced, it cost mm. me what um, t about twenty pounds, uh, oh, which was wow. fine. 20 pounds to get my ears pierced, which is fine. Yeah, great. I'd expect to pay, you know, a price point like that, you know, at least that. I had my ears pierced with um, stainless steel studs. Mm. If you wanted to upgrade to precious metal, it cost, just for studs, just for plain, boring old studs, I think it was an extra, I think it was like an extra 15 pounds or something. And they're just for studs. Look at the quality mm. you're getting here. They're working out to three pounds a pair. I mean, that's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Just gorgeous. £17.95p <clears> for <throat> six pairs of these. Well, they're all going to sell out. Well done, every single one of you there. Gorgeous. I want to make a ring with them. Three of those. That's a lovely idea. That's a little, just on the front of a ring, a new oh. sterling silver wire for the shank. That'd be, they're, they're gorgeous. I love them. You could do that, and I've, couldn't you? I've got my ear pierced at the top. Um, yeah. And I'd, I'd love to wear one of those just in the top. I bet you could do that, that you know. Yeah, that'd work really well. Because it's sterling silver, it's very pliable, but it's mm. also very strong as well, which is a lovely mixture to have. Because um, you can, as Deborah suggested, make it into a ring and, and you literally, um, I mean, don't go mad with it, but you could, but you could reform this wire yeah. around your finger and add to this wire with some more sterling silver wire if you wanted to and make a beautiful ring out of it or make it into an awesome yeah. ear stud. Yeah. That'd be brilliant. Do you know what I've got? The beautiful. So many people coming through for these. Loads of people loving this. Well done. Um, uh, Sandra from Lancashire's uh, texted about our tech subject today, which is all about seasons, who says, Hi, lovely ladies and gents. I do have seasonal jewellery. I give my necklaces names like autumn leaves. Oh, oh. Sandra, that's so nice. nice. Isn't that lovely? And Vicky uh, <laughs> says, uh, that zombie <laughs> Halloween advert was awesome. I didn't get to see it. I was in the loo. It scares me. I don't like it. Can, can I see? <laughs> can we see one of them on, on the next break? Can we? Has it got Laura and Pip dressed up as zombies? Yeah. 
I'd love to see them. It's quite scary. I don't like scary things. Uh, Sally from Hertfordshire says, Hi, Carol. Love the new early bird. So do I. Can we see him again? Can we see him again? <laughs> oh, he's so beautiful. Should be called Randy the Royal Robin. Mm -hmm. Steady on, Sally. Love the show. <laughs> Sally and Hemel Hampstead. Randy. Randy. Uh, Randy, <laughs> the, Randy the Royal Robin. Yeah. Or maybe we should call him Rudolph. Rudolph or Rudy. Oh, look at him. Rudy. He's so cute. It's like he knew he was going to be selected to be the early bird. He's all yeah. puffed up and he's there all fluffy, just going, yeah, like, oh, hey, no, no. look at me. He's adorable, <laughs> isn't he? Do you know what? Um, they're really clever robins, aren't they? They're really, really clever. Mm. If you're doing gardening or something, well, yeah, like I do gardening, but if you do gardening, I occasionally do. I kind of shovel some kind of soil around. No, I do. I hate weeding. I hate weeding. I hate like weeding. planting things, but I hate weeding. Mm. Um, but if you're digging in the garden um, and a robin comes up quite close to you, it's not coming up to say hello. It's looking for worms because it knows that when you dig in the soil, it unearths worms. It's looking for worms. They're very brave little birds, our robins. Uh, do you feel like you've learned something? Yeah, 20 past 10. Every day is a school day. Every day is a school day. So lovely robin, Rudy the Randy. No, no, no. Rand, oh no, just, just stop, 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 Carol, don't say anything. <laughs> right, okay, okay. <clears throat> Is it time? Do you know what? I'm just loving today. Loving today, it's Thursday today, isn't it? Thursday's always got Thursday. a good, good feel mm. about them, haven't they? Good feel about them. Uh, I'm working on Saturday, yes. We've got an awesome day on Saturday, the 1st of Nov, uh, me and Mark Smith, we're filming a DVD, which we're gonna be launching on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. he, he said something quite worrying the other day, which I was a bit kind of worried by. He said something, he's up to about something ridiculous, like 30 techniques or something on this one DVD. I thought, oh, goodness me, what on earth are we going to do? <laughs> it starts at seven. It's only an hour long DVD. He said something, I think he said about 30 techniques or something. Good I don't know. Maybe I wasn't listening. Probably not. <laughs> Bless him. So we've got gorgeous Labrador right here. Now, Good news and bad news. The good news is, I love you. The bad news is, we've only got 89 of this strand available. Once it's gone, it's gone. Fastest cake in the world, yeah? It's gone. Right. One Labradorite. I've got to show you each one. You've got to be there now, okay? You've got to be there now. One Labradorite. The other side of the Labradorite. Labradorite number two. Oh! Ooh. Second side of Labradorite. Whoa! Third Labradorite. Whoa! Whoa! Labradorite number four. Da 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 da. Labradorite number five. Contestant number five. Look at that. Oh my wow. Labradorite number six. Contestant number six. Contestant number seven. Oh wow. Look at that. That's all natural what you're seeing there. It's labradorescence. Linda can't say that word. It's really funny. Gorgeous. Absolutely <laughs> amazing Labradorite. Now it's all natural. It is all absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Now, Deb, I think I know what you might do with these. Would you would you would you set these like a cabochon? Yeah. You'd have yeah. to, wouldn't you, really? Or I'd I'd have um a while ago I got um a pack of uh Labradorite cabochons. So I, I might even put one of those in the centre of a neckline piece and then have those oh, going lovely. up round the neck, round the back. Oh, how lovely. Because they're so heavy and gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. I'd want to use them all in one piece. Each one is a story. It really, really is. Each one tells you a story. It gives you a hint of how it's formed over many millions of years. What you're effectively seeing is light reflecting from the inner layers inside the gemstone. The thicker and thinner layers um, uh, will depend on the kind of colour that you get from the lab addresses. I just, I, I adore this gemstone. We have got less than 80 chances available. I've got so many people there. This is the kind of strand that I look at and I think, okay, ring, yeah. 15 pounds. Ring, 15 pounds. Pendant, 18 pounds. Pendant, 18 pounds. Pendant, 18 pounds. That one's slightly bigger. 20 pounds? That one's slightly bigger as well. 20 pounds? Maybe back down to a ring, 15 pounds, maybe again. You know, there's real quality here. If you were to make all this into jewelry, into separate pieces and sell it on, you could easily make 100 pounds or so, couldn't you, easily? Or if you're gonna make it into one big piece of jewelry, you know, what a piece of jewelry that would be. Mm. Now, 
this is where we come to the price point. I cannot believe that this strand of Labradorite is about to go so low. Are you thinking kind of high 20s? Mid 20s? 24.95 that would be amazing wouldn't it 24 pounds 95p i would absolutely love the opportunity to get a stand like this at 24.95 yeah 100 percent 17 pounds 95p just on one of these larger gemstones in a pendant you could make that money back couldn't you i mean easily 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 it's gonna go it's gonna sell out well done i've got a number of you multi bind you know what if there's multi bind today it's gotta be this one gotta be this one absolutely why is it going to be this one each and every strand is going to be unique each and every gemstone is going to be unique and you know what when you get one of these strands home you're going to wish you bought two honestly 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 how many times does that happen yeah. to you deb you get a strand home and you think do you know what? i wish i bought two yeah and then you go to check to see if it's available oh it's gone yeah oh it's gone nothing left yeah totally sold yeah. out totally gone well done now please don't forget you've got a 94 day money back guarantee until the 31st of january next year making a piece of jewelry Excuse me. What are they going to think? I know what I think. If I opened a beautiful jewellery box, you know, just like a little, a little um, a gift box. Sorry, a um, little plain black gift box with a black velvet cushion inside, and I saw a pendant, a wire wrapped pendant with uh, made out of this strand of gemstones, made out of just one of these. I know exactly what I think. I think, oh my goodness me, oh my goodness me, they've totally overspent on me. You can say I made it. I made it myself. You don't have to tell them that, that the entire strand costs you less than twenty pounds. You don't have to tell them that. In fact, I don't think I would. No. I think I'd lay it on thick and lie and say, yes, well, it was extremely expensive. Yes, it did take me hours to make. Don't tell them it was 17.95 and it took you half an hour to make a pendant. Don't tell them that. Don't, don't, don't ruin it. It's amazing though, isn't it? Well done. £17.95p for your incredible strand of genuine natural Labradorite. That's going to sell out within the next few seconds. How many have we got left, Danny? 14. Ah, no money left at all. You've got to get it now. Absolutely loads of you still coming through on the web, on the phones. Please do multi buy. I've got lots of you with this in your baskets. Please check your baskets out as quickly as you can. Oh, what a whopper chica. Okie dokie. Now, Deb, I don't know if you know this, but we've got a brand new Kumihimo findings pack on today's show. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yes. That's something I missed this morning then when I was yes. nosy. Yes. Well, we do. It's new, and we're going to do it now. Right. Oh, and it's rose gold as well. There's something exciting in every single hour of today's show. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> can I be your friend? Can I be your best friend? Can I be your best friend, please? <laughs> please, can I be your best friend? Please, can I be your best friend, professional coining gizmo? Please, I want to be your best friend. Can I be your best friend, please? <laughs> it's amazing. It's coming up at 11 o'clock. It's amazing. What? I, I did. I licked the professional coiling gizmo box just to <laughs> express. I don't know where it's been. Well, I don't do I. Uh, Amelia says she knows. No. She's having a very laughing. knowing look. I know. <laughs> That's disgusting. And right, the okay. Evil laugh. Have a sip of tea. Sip of tea. Oh, cup of tea. <laughs> that's fine that's fine don't worry about it that's fine you can poison me poison me with your own work brand tea bags oh no no forget it forget <laughs> it i bring my own special tea bags in <laughs> special tea bags and uh she and, and uh, amelia has has made me normal tea today <laughs> right okay here we go right brand new Brand new, brand new. Okay, so you've got your satin cord in burgundy, 10 meters of burgundy, Ron Burgundy, satin cord. 10 meters of your gorgeous um, orange colored satin cord. And I love this, 10 meters of gorgeous pinky colored satin cord, pinky peachy colored satin cord. Isn't that gorgeous? The colors of autumn, the palette of autumn. Not to mention which, it goes with these brand new Kumihimo findings. Now. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, 
Have we got the stair gate up so Debrud can't vault yeah. over it and come and grab one of these? You're making me wait, aren't you? Yes, well, <laughs> just, you're going to have to wait. You have to get your phone out or something because I don't think you're going to have a chance to get these, Deb. There's not going to be any left by the time you get home. Sorry. Sorry. Deb loves a bit of <sighs> Two rose gold plated copper toggle clasps. Two. Okay. Awesome. Pop those on the desk. You're also going to be getting Shepard took earring findings. Rose gold plated copper again. Um, you're going to be getting how many? Four <laughs> pairs, thank you. Four pairs of your earring findings. Look at these, aren't they gorgeous? They're so cute. I love the way they're formed, don't you? Really adorable, okay. You're also going to be getting two of your rose gold plated copper lobster claw clasps. And these are big, these are really big lobster claw clasps. 15 by 7 millimeters, they're enormous. Check them out. Wow. That's rose gold plated copper. How cool is that? Rose gold plated, amazing, isn't it? You're then going to be getting loads of jump rings as well. Uh, thank you. 20 of your rose gold plated 7 mil jump rings. I'll leave them in the little pot. It's a bit easier. Okay, so 20 of those at the bottom of the screen there. You're also going to be getting... Oh, so this is where it gets all kumahimo. <laughs> Kumahimoed. This is where we kumahimo this bundle. <laughs> Such a funny word, isn't it? It is. Go on, get your Kumihimo out. Here we go. So you've got your Kumihimo ends here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely amazing um, um, ends on here to clamp your uh, ribbons, your cord, your hemp cord, your leather cord. You're going to be getting two, uh, uh, well, four individual ones, so uh, two pairs, okay, of your ribbon ends. You're then going to be getting jump ring there you're then going to be getting two of these and i'll pop one on the desk and i'll show you the other one it's a oh oh goodness me where's that gone I thought, I thought I lost it forever down the top <laughs> whoops <laughs> okay you're going to be getting this um awesome clasp now it's got a little hole on either end there and on the other end as well and you simply ah. screw it closed there, oh whoops debbie have you used these ones before you're making I an ah noise yes ah. um i first used those when I was about 12 years old with my beading. No way! Yeah. Ah, oh, that's awesome. But they weren't that pretty because they, they were um, stainless steel. They weren't rose gold plated. Like rose so. gold plated. No. Goodness me. Aren't they gorgeous? They are. Now how do you set, um, how do you put uh, threads through here then? Because it, it does have a little hole at either end. Yeah, well you, you tie a knot and put the knot inside ah. the, the screw fit in. Yes and then your cords come out yes so then it's um, so then it's captured it's inside, captured. The, inside yeah. the clasp awesome so you're going to be getting yeah. two of those okay um there's more there's more wait there's more you're then going to be getting two pairs of kumihimo thread ends now these are great you can uh, literally bind your uh, threads together with a piece of wire if you want to uh, or with a piece of um oh, i don't know monofilament and um, so you've got one thread effectively so you can be working with 10 threads but if you bind them all together to make one big fat thread and then you just apply some jewelry making glue um, and then pop them into the end um, into one of these end cups you're going to be getting two pairs of these and they've all got ends on them which means you can attach a clasp onto them as well can you see that lovely so you're going to be getting two pairs of those Okay, and I've got one final detail to show you as well. Now, you're getting two, oh goodness me, I hate showing these just because they're so magnetic. Um, two magnetic clasps. It's like they're Siamese twins, they just do not want to be, they're like conjoined. To, come here, come here. It's like, no! It's like me with the professional Y calling gizmo. Can't bear to be separated from it. Um, so you've got two of these magnetic clasps. Look at this, look at that. Wow! magic isn't it it's absolutely amazing these are all rose gold plated copper okay they're so i mean i've got i've got fairly I'm, I'm relatively strong but these are seriously i mean these are wonderful if you're going to be making um a necklace or a bracelet and you want to make a long necklace into a shorter necklace and a bracelet you can do it with um class like this they're absolutely awesome they're really really wonderful okay so we're gonna to have to bring your price on screen um as soon as possible so 30 meters of your satin cord and your brand new rose gold plated copper kumahimo findings pack absolutely amazing price point here it is 11 pounds and 95 p isn't that wonderful absolutely wonderful 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 absolutely awesome and um, 
So a great deal for you today. So you're getting a toggle class, you're going to be getting a lobster claw clasps, you're going to be getting your end caps, you're going to be getting your screw clasps, you're going to be getting your ribbon ends, you're going to be getting your magnetic clasps, you're getting your jump rings, and you're going to be getting your earring findings, and you're going to be getting your 30 meters of satin cord. Uh, that is all for under 12 pounds. Absolutely wonderful. 44 individual rose gold plated copper findings and 30 meters of satin cord, all for under 12 pounds. An amazing treat for you today well done and don't forget you're going to be getting your 94 day money back guarantee as well if you're um if you're not into kumihimo but maybe you're into crochet or you're into macrame you can absolutely use these clasps and use these tools alongside any of those techniques can't you deb you're not yeah, limited brilliant. just to using these with kumihimo are you no macrame they're absolutely brilliant yeah definitely um and also you can use them um just with your, your cords any of your threads yeah your eslon, so any satin cord, um, but also you can you can use them with wire as well. Ah, that's an interesting so point. Lovely. The, um, the cord ends, ribbon cord ends, make brilliant um, like crimps almost, like heavy duty crimp ah. to hold pieces of wire together. Um, and also they finish wire. Uh, pieces round at the neckline yeah. so you can tuck all of the ends in and it has a really neat finish. See that's a really interesting point actually I hadn't actually thought about using these with wire but actually looking yeah. at these yeah you can use them with any any threading material at yeah. all any, yeah. any threading material you can use them with every single threading material there is so wire hemp monofilament mm -hmm. beading thread so don't feel limited at all that you're, you can only use these for Kumihimo projects. You can use them for absolutely any threading project at, um, 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 that, that is available here on Doing Make. What? In the world. So 11 95 well done. Loads of you coming through. Well done. And lots of you multi-buying as well. Do you know what? This is a lovely little Prezi as well. If you're thinking maybe forward to things like... Um, um, if you're thinking forward to maybe the Christmas holidays, because we're kind of out of half term now, aren't we? Kind of half terms uh, this week, really. Yeah. Uh, but if you're thinking forward to maybe the Christmas holidays, and you're thinking about maybe doing Kumihimo, you're thinking about maybe doing something awesome with the kids, um, something really crafty with the kids, class like this are going to be really fun to use as well, whether it's the magnetic ones or whether it's the ones that um, Deb was using when she was about 12 years old, the little <laughs> screw um, class as well. Yeah. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, actually, Love that. If, you, if you bought the Kumihimo disc, yeah. then you've got everything you need there to make yeah. pieces so it'd be fantastic stocking filler absolutely it's great isn't it i'm now in the situation oh no i ha have actually managed <laughs> to uh, pick it up i don't have long nails so it's very difficult to kind of pick things up sometimes off the desk anyway anyway cassie's very good actually cassie uh, floor manager cassie she wanders around with a piece of blue tack and just does that on the desk and picks it up clever clever She's a genius! Right! <laughs> 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. What? The professional wire calling gizmo. It doesn't matter. It's amazing. It doesn't matter that people don't know what it looks like. It's amazing! <laughs> professional calling gizmo. It's coming up at 11 o'clock. You're going to love it. Right, new kit. This is amazing. This is so beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love this kit. I absolutely love it. Um, the colours in this kit are so sophisticated it's such a sophisticated mm. palette you're getting here um do you know something if you're a brand new to jewelry maker um and you've never made a piece of jewelry before and you're worried about making that first piece of jewelry and you're worried that it's gonna look like a three-year-old's made it and you've made a gorgeous stretchy bracelet and you're thinking do you know what i'm just i'm so worried that that my jewelry is going to look really really rubbish it's going to look really you know i'm not going to do the gem the kind of justice that they deserve I don't care what level you are at with your jewelry making hobby you could be at Deb Rudge's level or you could be brand new to jewelry making you've never even picked up a piece of beading thread in your entire life whatever your background whatever your experience any piece of jewelry you make from this kit is going to look like a million dollars 
it really really will do every single piece of jewelry you make from this kit is going to look we've got four really beautiful strands of genuine fresh water culture pearls in this kit um the quality of these pearls is outstanding and it's a really beautiful lesson actually in looking at the different varieties of pearls the different sizes of pearls and appreciating appreciating the merits of each one of these is actually really important the first strand of pearls i'm going to show you is this delightful strand of tiny beautiful little pearl nuggets these are two to three millimeters in diameter i just love them absolutely gorgeous they're teeny 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 tiny they are all genuine freshwater cultured pearls okay they're not fake they're not synthetic you can get um, imitation pearls on the high street and they look great but I, when you can get genuine freshwater cultured pearls from jewelry maker and they are real pearls and you can get them for a lower price than you can actually get imitation pearls for I, I, I ask myself the question well why bother getting imitation pearls when you can get genuine freshwater cultured pearls from jewelry maker um, that look even better that are the real deal and you can get them for a fantastic price point now i don't know about you but just making see i love it already love it already stretchy bracelet probably the simplest piece of jewelry you will ever make the simplest piece of jewelry you will ever make but doesn't that look awesome doesn't that look really pretty just a simple stretchy bracelet well, what about a double um, pearl ring again just make it with monofilament or make it with elastic probably the simplest pieces of jewelry you will ever make but doesn't that look awesome this is what i mean with a kit like this you can make the simplest jewelry in the world you could be brand new to jewelry maker and your first kit is a kit which is all about genuine freshwater culture pearls that's really really special okay you're also going to be getting another strand of pearls here these are a, I love the shade of blue in this gorgeous strand of pearls absolutely love it um, they're described as peacock pearls they're eight to nine millimeters in diameter I'd say they're less of a peacock color peacock color pearls tend to be uh, darker in color they tend to be more of a navy blue these are more of a it's like a dusty a dusty blue that you're going to be getting really really gorgeous halfway between kind of a cornflower blue and a royal blue uh, they're just really really lovely and the reason why i'm kind of hesitating on the uh, on the actual shade of these is because they do actually change as the gemstones move they change from mauves to blues now can you see the rings going around these pearls as well what is that okay well that just gives you an indication of the pearl and how it's formed over many many weeks many many months maybe even a couple of years um and just and just the different layers of nacre now that does two things for me personally it adds quality to the pearl it adds character to the pearl and also for me it advertises the fact that what you're wearing what you're looking at what you're using in your genuine gemstone jewelry are genuine freshwater cultured pearls imitation pearls look too perfect if you know what i mean they look too round i think and they look a little bit too flawless with pearls of this kind of quality because you're gonna be getting those rings because you're gonna be getting ever such a slight organic shape. You know, not your, uh, not your perfect rounds or your perfect um, ovals. You get that character, that quality, and you can't imitate that. I mean, that's gotta be only genuine freshwater cultured pearls, okay? I've got two further strands, this stunning silver pearl strand. These are enormous. These are round about 10 to 12 millimeter pearls, absolutely huge. This is where pearls really do shoot up in um with regards to the kind of price points people will pay for them okay with regards to the kind of price points that we pay for pearls we are having to with 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 some of the strands of pearls that we're sourcing at the moment over in hong kong we're having to pay almost double the price that we paid this time last year a lot, a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon and um and culturing pearls which is great absolutely awesome it means there's more pearls out there for everyone but of this kind of quality of this kind of size they are becoming even more difficult to get hold of even more um uh, pricey for us to get hold of okay okay you've also got the final strands here these are pure white pearls enormous there is nothing more classic than your classic white pearls slightly off white i wouldn't call it a brilliant white i wouldn't call it um um if i hold a white piece of paper next to these pearls actually no that's not really white oh no it is it is that is 
the piece of paper next to them is white. You can see it's slightly an off-white. It's more like an ivory, which is exactly the kind of colours, um, of the kind of colour that a pure pearl, I, I think a pure pearl should be, okay? Now, I don't know about you, I'm looking at these strands of pearls. In fact, in fact, I'll show you what's uh, the rest of the bits and pieces which are in the kit. Your threading pack with monofilament beading thread and elastic, awesome. The monofilament in particular is gonna be really important with this kit because of course you've got pearls which occasionally have smaller drill holes. Um, you're also going to be getting three lots of this beautiful waxed cord in silver, navy blue, and ivory. 10 meters in each one of these, that's 30 meters in total. Deborah's used this in such a lovely way and waxed cord just has this wonderful 100 plated copper findings as well there they all are um really really fantastic findings here now i'm looking at these four strands of pearls okay my price point in my head for this strand here it's got to be 19.95 okay the next strand next to it the silver pearls again 19.95 this strand here, twelve ninety-five, maybe fourteen ninety-five. This strand here, that's got to be a nine ninety-five strand of pearls, at least, at least, if not even more. You know, they're perfect, perfect little pearls, absolutely gorgeous. Then, of course, you've got your findings, which are what seven eight pounds. Then, of course, you've got your threading pack. Okay. Then you've got your thirty meters of your waxed cord as well. So, all together today, on our website. Well, yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's fair enough. In fact, that's brilliant. In fact, yeah. If I'm thinking these two strands here are around about 20, but I, I, I would put a price point of about 20 pounds each on these. Jewelry maker prices, not what I think they're worth, not what I think they're sell for. Because I think if you were to get these valued, goodness me, can you imagine? The amount of people who we get who have got strands of pearls like this from jewelry maker, made them into a pearl necklace, got it valued, the amount of people who've come back with triple figure independent valuations just for a single strand pearl necklace it's unreal it's unbelievable it's, un it's just incredible okay if you saw this for sale in a jeweler's for 150 pounds you wouldn't be surprised would you in fact you might buy it 27.95 for the entire kit for the entire kit absolutely astonishing for the entire kit for the entire kit that for me that's 20 pounds jewelry maker price that's 20 pound, uh, 20 pounds jewelry maker price that's got to be 14 15 pounds jewelry maker price that's got to be a tenner jewelry maker price you've then got this you've then got that 27.95 for the entire kit absolutely unbelievable i mean incredible there is not a single strand of pearls here that when you when you make this into a necklace or this into a chunky bracelet or this into a gorgeous tiara you're not going to be looking at price points of 20 cents. these are genuine freshwater cultured pearls you've got going on here even the teeny tiny petite strand of genuine freshwater culture pearls here i mean even look at this at the neckline even this has got oh look at that oh, i love it i want it I w oh look at that even that at the neckline you wouldn't sell that for 27.95 would you no it would have to be what 30 40 pounds have to be with precious metal findings maybe even more and who knows what it would be valued at if you get it independently valued, goodness me. It's amazing, isn't it? Gorgeous. Love it. Right, let's head over to um, Deb. I mean, the most amazing quality. Absolutely beautiful. Now, Deb, you can see how many people are coming through for this kit. Yeah. yeah. I don't blame them. Neither do I. $27.95. If, if that one strand of ivory colored pearls mm -hmm. was for sale on Jewelry Maker at $27.95, I wouldn't bat an eyelid. No. I think, wow, well, no. that's worth it. It's definitely worth it. I wouldn't even question it. They're massive. And, and the colours in the kit and the cords as well, just everything works really well. Do you know, I, um, I, would, I would never, if I was putting a, a pearl kit together, I would never think of putting waxed cord with it. Um, but it works. It yeah. really does work. Yeah, it does. It does. Look at this. Where's that necklace that Martha and I were loving this morning? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> How designer does that look? 
How designer does that necklace look there? I love that one. I just it's beautiful, Deb. It's absolutely beautiful. And you've got gorgeous, you've got gorgeous earrings, earrings to go with it. I mean, yeah. that's Bond Street for me. That is absolutely Bond Street jewellery. And if that set of jewellery was for sale for £200, I would not be surprised at all. I mean, it's so beautiful. So, mm. Such quality. Beautiful, simple elegance. And it just shows you sometimes with the most beautiful gemstones, the designs don't have to be complicated. No, no, no. I had to keep that simple because I just, the, the two colours of pearl together. Beautiful. With that um, coloured cord. Mm. The wax yeah, look cord, at this colour cord. It's just, it feels It does wonderful. look really expensive. When you take the cord off the reel, it feels really nice in your hand yeah. it's smooth and silky um, but it's it's quite a, a satin finish to it mm, so it doesn't it's look very very smooth it's not bright and shiny no um, it's it is understated very so subtle it works brilliant very subtle look at this necklace to the side I mean this is jam-packed for the pearls this is yeah. totally the opposite kind of design and I love yeah. it I love it look at that together look at that totally Beautiful. extravagant just Gorgeous quality. Loads. Let's move along and look at this. God, I can't wait to look at these white pearls. Oh, look at this bracelet. Look at this bracelet. I couldn't decide whether to do it or not because I thought, well, maybe it's a bit of a cop out because it's not at all. you know just one pearl and then just threading. How can that but be a cop I out? Had, That's beautiful. I had to do it because it was it was just saying. It, again, it looks so designer. It looks so high end, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Look at this. Look at this. And again, I've been really <gasps> indulgent with you the have, pearls. You have, haven't you? Yeah. So you could have just had a chain just with that tassel at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you could have done that three or four times over, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I got carried away, and I just loved the the two sizes of pearl mm. working together. And I love this piece, Deb, without any gemstones on at all. Yeah. I love it. I mean, that's a gorgeous piece of jewelry. I'd wear that over my winter woolies. I mean, that's a lovely yeah. piece of jewelry to wear, isn't it? It is. It is, and um, just all all of the layers mm. again of the cord, and you could, Beautiful. if you wanted to, make some interchangeable pendants and just nice you idea. know pop yes, them on with a really big bale. Yeah, and then um, we move on to these two pieces here, where you've mixed together the the wax cord and the pearls. We're actually mm. going to see a technique on this pair of earrings here, which I think is lovely because it's a lovely mixed media piece this one where you're mixing in waxed cord and pearls two things which I would never put together I would never think of putting them together but it works absolutely absolutely beautiful gorgeous quality there right so how do we go about making these then Deb okay um, each earring I've used about um, eight inches of the wax cord just mm -hmm. one one piece and you just start off by tying the knot <laughs> um, so that sounds very simple yeah we're going to make this section here um which is really simple so fold uh, your your cord in half yeah like that mm -hmm. so that is then going to be where you, you hang um your pearls from at the bottom i've made a, made them a bit longer than uh, than the ones here the, the finished earrings but you can you can either have them really long or you can have them really short Lovely. Um, so then just loop over at the top um, to make a, a second loop and that's where you tie your knot okay so you just tie a basic overhand knot so it looks okay, simple it looks a lot more complex it does doesn't it yeah <laughs> Um, the trickiest thing is getting all of the, the tails through. Right, got them. So okay. that's a little bit um, too long. So what I need to do is just move move that up. Is this a mistake, Deb? Well, have you just made a mistake? No. One more. I wouldn't dare. And the trap door's dare. gonna open. Got my finger on the button. Just be warned. I like just living dangerously, but careful. but no, Red no. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a demos demonstration of of how you can move the knot along. Whatever. That's what it is. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you've you've make your second loop, tighten everything up. Yeah. Okay. And then the next stage is again really simple. Um, 
So taking a couple of pearls, what we need to do is um, pop one of your, uh, your normal size head pins through and they fit through the pearl perfectly. Then cut off the top and leave about a centimetre. Lovely. Okay, and then just using your round nose pliers, we're just going to turn a basic loop. I always turn it so that the the end goes further than the um, yeah. piece coming up. Yeah. Pop my pliers back in and then just bend it back. Oh, gorgeous. And that makes it a nice neat. Lovely. Loop. Okay, dokie. Okay, so that's the bottom section. And then the top section, sometimes you can get that out of the same head pin, which is quite handy because it makes them go a little bit further. So I'm going to turn another loop at the top there. Pop that back into the pearl. And again, another loop there. And I think it might be a little bit short. That's a mistake, oh no! Have you made a mistake? Right! That was a mistake. <laughs> She's gone! <laughs> Then I've climbed back up. Demo. Yeah. So I was just listening to a joke that someone's texted. Why was the scarecrow promoted? Oh, I don't know. Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> That's actually quite good. Helen, yeah. we lo I love you. I love you. That was amazing. I'm going to use that one. Did you hear about the magic tractor? Drove down the road and turned into a field. Oh. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I've got more. I've got more. You've got more. I'll feed them You've in there. Whole... I, don't, I don't have any more. No. I always forget the punchline. Hmm? I always forget the yeah, punchline. Yeah, there's something. It's like a. It's 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 something. Um, I'm sure there's psychologists who've kind of done studies on it, and there's a reason why we always forget the punchlines in jokes. And from something says, my friend went into a jeweler's yesterday. Is this a joke? Uh, <laughs> they were selling a string of multicolour pearls for one thousand five. Oh, it is a joke. One thousand five hundred pounds a pair of earrings wow. with just one pearl for five hundred ninety-five pounds and a bracelet for six hundred pounds. She said. It, she said it looks as if they came from one strap. Do you know what, Anne? Mm -hmm. That's laugh. Isn't that ridiculous? It makes us look really good, so, though, doesn't it? That's quite, quite a lot, isn't it? It's an awful lot of money. It's an awful quite lot, yes. Lot. Quite a lot. How are you getting on, Deb? Quite Any more mistakes? No, no, it's all going <laughs> swimmingly. <laughs> so I've got Gorgeous. Uh, attached all the pearls, popped them on the bottom loop, Beautiful. and then to finish off, you just use crimp bead covers. Oh, I love this. Look at this. And then pop your cord in. What I would do mm. um, is actually pop a little bit of glue on the end. Oh, okay, why is that? To just pop it from just the belt and braces. Yeah. And make okay. sure it stays on there. But they do actually stay if you then pinch them nice and tight. Oh, and they look so awesome. I love the way they look. And then oh, it just cute. finishes your cord off really nicely. Really sweet. And it, it provides a bit a little touch more of the gold mm, absolutely um, yeah so coming down from the the earring wire yeah, you're not just using it as a mechanic you're yeah, using it as a lovely little decoration it's lovely so do that on both the ends and then just pop your loops onto your earring wire so you don't need jump rings or anything they the cords just fit perfectly look at that so isn't that gorgeous and lovely you could, lovely pair of earrings you on. could use that as um a pendant mm. as well if you wanted to absolutely just that on its own so beautiful. There we go. Isn't she lovely? Mm -hmm. So we've got um, how many of this kit have we got left, Danny? Twelve. Seven. Seven of this kit left. Sorry, <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't count them. Seven of this kit left. Um, I've got loads of you with this in baskets as well. Please do check your baskets out. It's gonna be oh. it's gonna be a sellout. Well done, absolutely all of you there. Um, give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> give it. <laughs> She's been licking that box, Danny. You, you know. <laughs> Coming up in a few moments, the professional coiling.
gizmo. Ah, so excited, so excited, so excited. Absolutely amazing. It's coming up in just a few moments. We've also got beautiful green marker sites. I'm holding That's it. That's gorgeous. My, my green marker site coming up as well between now and the end of the show. You're not going to be able to believe the price point on this. And if you want to know a bit more about our super duper amazing extended money back guarantee, here's a bit of info on that. As peace of mind for your Christmas shopping, any purchase you make from now until Christmas can be returned to us until the 31st of January 2015. The first C we look for is colour. The colour of a gemstone refers to the hue, tone and more importantly, the even saturation of colour within the gemstone. This can make the difference between a poor stone and a highly exquisite gem, being highly sought after by collectors worldwide. Secondly, we look for clarity. Almost all gemstones can contain some type of inclusions formed during crystallisation. Some gemstones, for example emerald, are acceptable with inclusions, whilst others are graded on how clean they are. Then we look for carat. Gemstones are always measured in carat weight when cut and commonly in grams as rough. Additionally, there are 100 points in every carat, so every point counts. And last but definitely not least, we come to cut. The cut is the most misunderstood and underestimated of the four C's. The cut should never be confused with the shape of the gemstone. This is the three-dimensional form, whilst the cut is the direct manipulation of the gemstone's facets by the lapidrist. Many factors are involved here, including the vision, experience and expertise of the lapidrist. If accomplished perfectly, a truly exquisite gemstone can be crafted into a work of art. Oh my word, I'm in love. When you're in love with a beautiful gizmo. When you're in love with a professional gizmo. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants it. You'll just have to wait until we bring on the price. And you're in love with a professional gizmo. It's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. Honestly, this is life changing. I've never seen Gemma Crow cry before. Um, cry, I've never seen her cry before. I think she was as close to tears as I've ever seen her when she uh, launched this incredible tool with Jenny uh, in the middle of uh, September. This tool has only ever been shown on air on Jewelry Maker. Uh, this is the third time it's ever been on. Why? Why has it only been on three times before? Because every time it's on, it sells out. It just sells out. What is this all about? Okay, I need to give you a bit of a warning. The last time we bought this to you was on a designer inspiration show that I did uh, a couple of Sundays ago with uh, Rachel Norris. It was, on, it was on screen for two minutes and it sold out. Um, I think we had about 150 of them available. It went, it went in about 90 seconds, okay? Loads of you already coming through for this. Um, we do have a, a, a reasonable quantity for this. We don't have anywhere, well, we don't have the same kind of quantity that we had the original time it was launched. Um, um, but we do have a good quantity. Okay, what is this tool? Why is it brilliant? Why is this the tool um, that Gemma Crow and Rachel Norris, along with all of our other wire work experts, are fighting over at the minute. Okay. This is effectively a gizmo, okay? But it gives you more. It's a professional coiling gizmo. What does that mean? Okay. On your mandrels for your regular gizmo, your mandrels are round about that long. Yeah, they're round about, what, eight inches in length, okay? Which is great. 
Look at the size of these mandrels. Look at these. You're getting five gizmos right here. They're all absolutely amazing. Oh, thanks, Lovey. You're getting five individual mandrels here. So you can make coils which are between this kind of length here and this thick, thick, thick length. Um, sorry, this thick width here as well, okay? So the mandrels themselves are a lot longer. Don't feel limited, though, that you can only make gizmo coils that are this long, okay? Because you can make gizmo coils which are longer, and I'll explain that in a moment. Just to give you an idea of how long these are, what you can use them for, I've got a beautiful necklace here which uh, Rachel Norris made. Without this professional coiling gizmo, she would not have been able to make this single coil that goes all the way around the neckline. This is a single gizmo coil that goes all the way around the neckline from here to here, okay? Here's the back of the necklace. No clasp, no clasp. And you can do that with this because the mandrels are so long. They're so much longer than the other gizmos that we bought you in the past, okay? Right. You can make dis um, designs like this with your extra long, uh, with, with your professional gizmo, of course, because the mandrels are that much longer as well. So this is all one piece of gizmo coil. You would be able to make a similar design with our uh, regular gizmo, but it wouldn't be as, as big as this. You wouldn't be able to make it as long as this. The reason why you can make it this long is because, the, of, of course, the mandrels are that much longer. Now, what else are you going to be getting? Okay, you're going to be getting, oh, thank you, Deb. I know why you brought it over now. I was thinking, why is she giving me that? So this is your shorter mandrel that you get in your regular gizmo. And this is the size of the mandrel in the larger gizmo. Okay, so this is the length difference. So that's that, that one there and that one there. Can you see the two differences? Just about, yeah? Okay. So it's kind of, what, double the size, double the length. Okay. Now, you also get, as part of your professional coiling gizmo, you also get your vice, which you would expect to get, which you um, screw onto a table or a work surface or whatever kind of surface you want to use, okay? You can move this up and down a work surface, which is absolutely fantastic, okay? You also get with this, and this is where this really comes into its own, another vice which you screw onto your work surface. Instead of having the mandrel which you just, well, you, you do poke the mandrel into this uh, bit here, you have a drill chuck. What does that mean? What does that allow you to do? Okay, well with the drill chuck, if I just open it up, okay, you obviously pop your mandrel in here. I don't know which one's gonna fit in. I haven't unscrewed it all the way, but you pop your mandrel in here, then you screw the drill chuck uh, closed, and then it's ready to be uh, gizmoed onto. It also enables you to do things like get two or three or four pieces of wire, put them directly into the uh, drill chuck, close the drill chuck, yeah, attach the, the other end of the wire to the other end of the vise, turn your drill chuck and you can make your own twisted wire with this as well. You are not limited at all by this incredible tool. It opens up so many new avenues to you as well. Now you can make your own mandrels using um, um, uh, bits of wire. If you want to use your one and a quarter millimeter gauge wire, you can make your own mandrels from it. You can move this vise, which is here, this second vise, as far away from this one as you dare to do it. If you've got another vise from our other um, uh, gizmo, then you might want to use one in the center if you want to make a really, really, really long gizmo coil. The point I'm trying to make is you can make gizmo coils which are as long as you want them to be, six foot if you wanted them to really be that kind of um, length. It's an absolutely amazing tool, okay? Every single time it's on air, it's sold out, okay? The first time with Gemma Crow and Jenny, the second time with me and Rachel Norris, and this time it looks like it's gonna sell out with myself and Deb. Uh, we're gonna see a, a little demo in a few seconds with Deb. Uh, got mine, yay, says Suzanne in South Yorkshire. Here's your price point for this incredible tool, the, the professional coiling gizmo. I've got so many people texting in and coming through on the web and the phone to this. Here's your price point. These are gonna go today, £24.95p. The most amazing tool. Absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing tool. I just love it, I think it's wonderful. Now. I've got about 50 of you at the moment with this tool in your baskets. Please do check your baskets out. Every single time it's been on air, it has sold out. Whether we bought you 300 or 150, it's sold out. Let's head over to Deb. You're having so much fun over there, aren't you? I am. There's an Allen key with this as well. Yes. And I can't remember what it's for. It's because you can change the way the chuck points. 
because I've got it set up so you can be left handed or right handed left hand, of course yes but you can turn it round in the in the, this clamp here that's it and that'll um that'll then turn it into a right hand so are you left handed or then I, I can use both hands. So you're ambidextrous, wow, mm. awesome. So you can make it into a left or a right-handed um, um, gizmo, which is fantastic. Just on the, the um, ah, top just here. on the top bit, yes, you can see them there So actually. you just need to undo it and, and turn it around. Or if you had a, a bench, mm. obviously that's not a, a desk that we work on, mm. um, and you've got like a lip mm. all the way around, mm. you can mm. use it on the other side and then mm. You don't mm. need to worry about undoing it, but okay. yeah, that's what that's for. Brilliant. Now, how is this gizmo to use compared to the other gizmo? I mean, the other gizmo has its place and it's absolutely fantastic, but yeah. how is this different? Is this better? Do you find it easier to use? Um, it's really easy to use because I don't tend to clamp the um, the other one, the short one. I don't tend to clamp it to my desk. Mm -hmm. um, I hold it in my hand, so it's, it's portable mm. for me. This is absolutely brilliant because I, I find the other one quite frustrating um, if I'm trying to make something that goes all the way around the neckline. Mm. So if I want a neck piece and I want it to go all the way around like a talk mm. style, um, you, you, you end up with joins. So then you have to mm. think of ways mm. around and adapt your design to be able to use the mm -hmm. shorter rods. Mm -hmm. This is, is just brilliant. brilliant. And also you've got... Um, long mandrels mm -hmm. um, but in a whole range of different sizes yes, as well got so you've got five yeah. gauges that you can choose from yeah. um, but it's it's just really easy to use it's got squeak this one it needs a bit of oil I like the squeak so it's, it's, <laughs> it's like the um, extruder tool isn't it's it? Just, yeah it sounds like a little mouse <laughs> mouse there. comes for free isn't um, it gorgeous so it just works in exactly the same way as the other one, turning Brilliant. Um, and just support the wire next to it. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look how smooth that gizmo is. Just to let you know, we've got Lovely. about 20 of this left. I've got more of you with this in baskets. I've got 45 of you with this in your baskets. Please do check your baskets out. This is going to sell out uh, within the next few seconds. You've got to come through and get this. It's an amazing tool. I'm so glad it's that brilliant. we got the chance to give it to you today because you haven't used this one before. So it's lovely that you've had a little bit of time to work with it. Yeah. Um, it has taken really us a nice. long time to get this in stock. I know Rachel Norris has been waiting for um, uh, months and months and months and months, <laughs> months for us to get this in stock. Yeah. Um, so many of you have come through to get this as well today and I'm so pleased that you've been watching today and you've been able to come in and get it. Um, mm. That's I've, awesome. I've missed it again. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> we'll get it back in stock, but like I say, every I single time it's on air, it, yeah. it, it, it does sell out, so hopefully it's, you'll get it next it's time. It's just brilliant. It's yeah. easy to use. It's really easy to fit up. Isn't it you know, just? Fit. Yeah. It's, it, there's nothing complex there. Gorgeous. Um, yeah, really nice. And what's absolutely brilliant mm. is that it's easy mm. to do twisted wire exactly. in longer lengths. Mm, absolutely, yes, yeah, so you can twist so your own wire. Yeah, you've got everything there Brilliant. in one tool. Yeah. Thanks Can't for that, it. Deb. I'm Thank gonna you. leave you to play with that. I'm gonna play, yeah, honestly, she's just, squeak she's away She's absolutely here. loving it. <laughs> Amazing. Right, okay, now, I've got a bit of an added to your order deal now. In 925 sterling silver. What? What? Are you suggesting 925 sterling silver is going to be an add it to an add it to my order kind of price point <laughs> yes i am this is gorgeous um now these are the kind of charms i was referring to yesterday yeah these are the kind of charms I was referring to yesterday. When I said to you, there are lots of different charm companies out there. There's um, Troll Beads, Pandora, Thomas Sabo, blah, 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 blah. Loads and loads and loads of different charm companies. There are different levels of those charms, aren't there? There's the glass charms, then there's the um, 95 selling silver ones, then there's the silver and gemstone ones, and the silver and glass ones. Um, there are lots of companies out there that will do charms very similar to the ones you're going to get today the ones we bought you over the last couple of days have been absolutely beautiful and they've had gemstones in them which has been absolutely wonderful they've been a little bit smaller though than the ones that you can get elsewhere you can get the ones which are slightly larger but goodness me about four or five times the, the price point so um we've only got a few chances available for these look at the size of these charms first of all they're both 925 sterling silver 
They're both 925 sewing, so they've got lovely holes going through them, nice big holes going through them, so you could easily get these onto leather cord. Just the right kind of size, aren't they? To fit onto those lovely bracelets and necklaces. Now, these are charm carriers, because what they have is a little eyelet there. Can you see that there? To uh, dangle gemstones from, a little drop, maybe a little briolette. Looking absolutely gorgeous. Now, we haven't just gone for a plain surround. Look at these. Beautiful rose detail quality on these 95 Sunny Silver Charms. Now the, um, now, the interesting thing is you're going to be getting a 95 stamp here, which is great. So you've got that 95 stamp on one of the petals just there. Okay. The slightly blackened quality is because this sterling, um, sterling silver has been oxidized. Why has it been oxidized? Okay, so it's been oxidized. So what you get is um, you get to see all of the texture from the actual bead. If these hadn't been oxidized, um, then you wouldn't see that depth of quality. You wouldn't see the depth of the petals of the roses. You wouldn't see that definition. It wouldn't have the same kind of definition that you're going to be getting because these have been oxidized. So I actually, I, I, I think that um, um, we've done the most amazing job here at bringing you something which is very, very useful, i.e. a charm carrier, but added that beautiful bit of detail to it as well. I've got less than 50 chances available in this game today. Less than 50 chances available um, for you today. Already got lots of you coming through, a couple of you multi-buying as well. Here's your price point, 11 pounds, 90 p. Wow, add it to your order, 925 sterling silver. Um, I've just spotted the name of this bundle. Did you name this bundle, Danny? Martha did. That's a terrible name. Charmed, I'm sure. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Do you know what I would call this bundle? I would call it, wow, I love your charm carrier spacer bead, part one. <laughs> to be closely followed by, wow, I love your charm carrier spacer bead, part two. Do you remember the name of that one, Matt? Do you take it off. Don't have to keep it on there if you don't want to, but make sure that, of course, you know exactly what you want to do with it before you start taking these, um, um, uh, taking that apart, because you're not going to be able to put it back on unless you're um, um, adept at soldering. Absolutely gorgeous quality. Really, really wonderful. I love the detailing on there. Two beautiful rose um, 925 sterling silver charm carrier beads. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they gorgeous? Really, really, really pretty. Well done. £11.90 there. Well done. Great deal there. With your 94 day money back guarantee. Yeah. 94 days. It's till the end of January. That is till the 31st of January, 2015. Could you believe we're almost at Christmas? Where is this year gone? I don't know. It's shocking, isn't it? How fast? It is. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Yes, please. A lovely text, please. Is it a good one? Is it a joke? It's not a joke. Oh. Uh, Carolyn Norfolk. Hi. Can you please tell me? You will play the large orange strand. Have to go to doctors. Thank you, Keith. Karen, they're coming up now. Woo! Yeah! Do you want to text us, by the way? Send us a text. What are you doing today? Let us know what you're up to. What's the weather like out there? Do we know? <laughs> Is it nice? Oh my god, I'm on a bike ride this afternoon. It's lovely, isn't it, the weather yeah, recently? It's meant to be hot. Mm. Up to 21 degrees. Up to 21 degrees this weekend. Really? Yeah. yeah. London tomorrow is meant to be 22 degrees. I'm in London tomorrow. Are you in London <laughs> tomorrow, are you, Amelia? On yeah. All Hallows Eve. How fantastic. Are you going down for a Halloween party or something? Uh, doing a horror maze, actually, in London Bridge. Doing a horror maze at London Bridge. That sounds amazing. Ooh. I think uh, I know where that's going to be. Is that going to be on Tooley Street? Uh, it is, it is. Ah, the London so Dungeons. I used to work there. Oh, they've moved now. They have moved, yes. But I used to work at the London Dungeons on Tooley Street. My job title was Head Dungeon Keeper. Yay. Whoa. Yeah, that was my uh, job you know title. Reese? Reese? No, I didn't know. I didn't know Uncle Reese. No. Oh, sorry. Head Dungeon Keeper. I had a massive bunch of keys. I used to get dressed up either as a Jack the Ripper uh, prostitute or, uh, or as a pirate. <laughs> Um, apart from, I used, to, I, I used to paint my teeth black. You used to get this teeth blacking oh, stuff. Yeah. And I used to leave one. Um, and I used to, um, what did I do? I, I, I went to, where, where was it? It was Greenwich Station. Um, and I got off the DLR, uh, where I lived in uh, Lewisham. And 
and I was going to see my friend in Greenwich. That was it. And I bought a ticket at the station. I said, one ticket to Greenwich, please. And the woman behind the counter went, and just kind of gave me the ticket. And then it wasn't until I got to Greenwich I realised I hadn't taken my teeth black stuff off. So I was literally walking around South East <laughs> London with like black teeth with like one peg. It was all, oh, it was terrible. <laughs> awful. Anyway, I used to get to children and say, you're the only one who can see me. <gasps> there you go. Scary. <laughs> oh my word, what is... I've eaten, I've eaten, uh, so it's come off a bit. This is really scary. I don't like it. <laughs> that's horrible. That's really scary. Oh, gosh, yeah, that's really... Ah! Oh, go away! Don't! The doll's alive! Ah! Orange agate slabs. That's really freaky. Orange agate slabs. <laughs> right, OK, here we go. Absolutely amazing <laughs> strand of genuine gemstones. Just gorgeous. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? Gorgeous, crackled agate orange slabs. And we were having a discussion about these this morning. They're like satsumas, aren't they? Yes, they are. They're just gorgeous. I love them. They're so yeah. juicy. Sunrise and sunset colours in here. Absolutely gorgeous, crackled, crackled qualities. They're just delicious. Look at the banding going through these. How much? You what? <laughs> Boom. We didn't agree on that price this morning. <clears throat> didn't we say? Yeah, didn't we say 14.95 this morning? There is little point with us sitting down before the show, Danny. If you're just going to go and change the prices willy-nilly. Can't believe that. 9.95. This was meant to be 14.95 before the show today. What a ridiculous day. That's amazing. On this strand, you're, um, I've just pulled um, I've just pulled one of the gemstones off. Sorry, two. You're going to be getting one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Approximately twelve gemstones on this drive. That is absolutely amazing. Now, Deb, what would you mm. what would you do with these? I'd um, probably use them with some cords because you can fit nice. loads through those. You can. The holes are massive. The Look at the size of the hole in that yeah. one there. Wow. You could probably fit so, leather cord through there, couldn't you? Yeah. Yep, I'm sure you could. So wow. um, I'd macrame um, bracelets or multi-strand um, necklaces. They're really nice because they they um, so macrame in between gemstones and then mm. pop another one on macrame and have loads of them going round. So I'd probably use all of them in one necklace. Oh wow! But have lots of layers on top of each other. I love the thought of doing macrame with these because as you know with with, with macrame you're going to be you're going to be working with minimum three strands um, mm. and if you use quite a thick threading material you're kind of a little bit limited to the kind of gemstones you can use with them. Um, not with this though. No. You could fit so many strands through this one gemstone that's amazing. So you could you could do it so it's multicoloured so the the, um, the cords actually change colour between gemstones stones then oh, what a because idea. you could have yes. ones you're using as you're working threads yes change change yes and, and then, then and then they become your lazy strands yeah. when you're yes yeah. isn't that a great change idea them over once you've threaded through the gemstone i'd love to see these in macrame designs i'd absolutely love that because looking at these i thought you were going to say uh maybe pendant Rings, yeah. you know, you know, you know yeah. prong setting them, wire wrapping them, but yep, they'd work for all of those as well. But because the hole's so huge, you may as well make the most of it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You may as well macrame with them. What a great idea! Um, <clears throat> got lots of you multi buying this round. Well done, everyone. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. So I said that again, Danny. Yes, of course. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so uh, 9.95, an amazing strand there. That's just gorgeous. Love, love, love that. In fact, just to let you know, all these strands went through this gemstone. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strands there that went uh -huh. through that one gemstone. So your Eslon 
Um, eight strands threads, less long. You'd be able to get eight, maybe even nine. Wow! Um, through, yeah. What a great idea doing some awesome macrame, and alter as, as Deb suggested, alternating the colours. Do it all in autumnal shades so you could... Lovely idea, you know, yes. Really, it, it nice. almost looked like um, a, a pile of leaves. They do, Because of all the different they? colours. I've got to show you a picture. I've got to show you a Lovely. picture before the end of the show of Hattie in her, uh, in her pumpkin outfit. My husband Aww. took her to nursery today, dressed as a pumpkin, and she looks hilarious. <laughs> absolutely hilarious. Doesn't look very happy. <laughs> <She looks> a... <laughs> These are coming up soon. More toggle clasps than you can shake a toggle clasp at. <laughs> Honestly, this is amazing. More toggle clasps than you can shake a stick at. Absolutely amazing. These are going to be coming up uh, pretty shortly as well. Carolyn Norfolk. Thanks, Carol. Weather good. <laughs> so walked my my two Ooh. spaniels. Needed. Oh, sorry, I haven't got my glasses. I've lost them. Needed bathing after they're on couch. And now they're on the couch watching TV. Don't mind. Because I got the gizmo. Do you know what? Yeah. Uh, Thanks, Liv. Oh, that's brilliant. I can read that now. Heidi from Hampshire says, Morning, lovely ladies. I'm so sorry. I have to confess. I've only just sat down to watch Jewelry Maker today, but I promise not to miss any more shows. Sorry. <laughs> Where have you been? What's more important than watching Jewelry Maker? You better have a really good excuse. Send cake and we might forgive you. <laughs> so, yeah, these gorgeous toggle class are coming up in. How long have I kept? How, how long? About 45 minutes, back to the last 12. Art thumb. Okay. You're still working with that. I'm still squeaking, there, sorry. For goodness sake. If I go really fast. It's like a herd of mice. <laughs> a gaggle of mice. I'll stop now. In a dilemma about dinner tonight. <laughs> I want roast chicken, but my husband wants um, salmon. I'm oh, going to be cooking it though, chicken. so you know what? Chicken. Chicken, chicken it is, isn't it? Mm. Chicken it. You right, Danny? You're gonna come and say hello to everyone or are you just gonna stick your stick stick your head in? Hello everybody. This is Danny. I'm just looking for something. He's meant to be producing today, he just seems to be wandering oh, around yeah. the studio though. Yeah, just getting involved, aren't they? Just getting involved. What do you want? Um the jewellery the thing we're meant to be selling, which isn't that. What's the jewellery? Oh, wasn't it this? No, no. 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 You sure it was number four? This. This. Yeah. Thank you, Danny. Oh guess that is box number four. Sorry, I got the wrong one. My fault, it's actually, on the rare occasion, it's actually my fault. Oh. Wowza! Yeah. Oh my word, who made this? Budding beater, made by Shara. Absolutely gorgeous. And, oh wow, I've got another gorgeous piece here, also made by Shara. Look at the sparkle there. Wow, a wee one, look at these. Oh, I like that, don't you love that, Deb? That's nice, yeah. Isn't that lovely? got a load of metal coming through it which is mm. really nice i like that lovely really piece of all the findings yeah look great uh, looks great with the rose gold uh, plated qualities and also great with the silver as well absolutely fantastic now okay um yeah, have a look at your gemstones here snowflake obsidian which has been using this gorgeous necklace uh, with the silver in smoky quartz oh i love ah. it chocolatey yumminess and then faceted rice beads of black agate and now look at these can you see that sparkle oh yes of course isn't that just delicious i mean actually on the recording you can see all of that sparkle kind of peeking through which is which is really really lovely considering you're effectively getting very very dark gemstones so against each other you can't really see each of the individual gemstones can you but with the sparkle with the luster there you get to pick out that sparkle you get to pick out those gorgeous rice bees lovely 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 bundle here a real stash builder bundle this one uh, because of course you've got your jet blacks you've got your greys and you've also got your chocolatey browns as well and this stunning strand of smoky quartz right fantastic prize bought for you should be at 16 pounds and 85p should be but it's not gonna be no, we're going low. We're going low, low. Buffalo! All three strands today is real! 
nine pounds 95p amazing yeah that is a low low buffalo price isn't it absolutely gorgeous well done 9.95 what a treat oh i'm loving that well done everyone isn't that gorgeous great thing about this as as shara who's made this gorgeous jewelry has demonstrated beautifully is you can use it with gold um rose gold sorry and you can use it with silver as well and of course you could use it with yellow gold if you wanted to just look equally as beautiful really really wonderful quality there isn't that lovely such dramatic jewelry great use of finding great use of the gemstones nothing too overly complicated no really difficult techniques here just very very simple threading techniques um so you've got uh, the potential to make some really quite dramatic pieces of jewelry when you start using these with the findings really really gorgeous quality there well done so for less than 10 pounds that works out to what three pounds 31 a strand and when you get them, you don't necessarily look at them and think oh now what can i use them in together appreciate this for what it is a great saving if you want to use them together you can if you want to use them separately absolutely feel free to do that you don't have to use these gemstones together you can use them separately you can use the smoky quartz in a separate bundle and a separate design to the snowflake obsidian if you want to absolutely gorgeous maybe the oh good idea yeah um, um danny's suggesting maybe the snowflake obsidian with a star faceted clear quartz that we bought you earlier on great idea that's nice or even actually the star the, the, the star cut um, white quartz with any of these three gemstones actually oh wow what about with the smoky quartz that's nice that's nice that's really nice yeah gorgeous well done details for your star faceted clear quartz at the bottom of your screen there so for those 10 mil gemstones 11 pounds 95p amazing brand new strand there well done um but of course, please don't forget, you're also going to be getting your 94-day money-back guarantee. So get these home, have a look at them, hold them, touch them, feel them. How do they feel to you? If you're happy with the quality, keep them. If you're not 100% um, satisfied, send them back to us. But our returns rate is less than 4%. How amazing is that? It's got a lot to do with our price points. It's got a lot to do with the fact that when you get your gemstones home, they look and feel so much better than they look and feel on screen. Because, of course, you, um, you can't feel gemstones at home. Um, you can't feel these gemstones at home, but you can see them, but you're not seeing them to their f maximum potential. When you get them home, get them in natural daylight, get them in your home, get them in situ. They're going to keep them better. They're amazing. Okay. Coming up. Green marker sites. Love this. Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous green marker site coming your way. We've also got... Beautiful carnelian coming up in the uh, midday hour. Gorgeous carnelian. There it is. There it is. Can't wait to bring that. It's going to be brilliant. Okay. Now, final kit. It's a final kit. Final kit. Oh, it's a final kit. Final kit. It's a final kit. Woo, woo, woo. Da -da 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 -da. Thanks for the dancing, Claire. Thank you. Now. Move that down there. Oh, wow. Clear the desk. Here we go. Right. Brand new <laughs> kit. Final kit. Absolutely beautiful. Some lovely. Oh. Nom, 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 What's happening? My mother's trying to eat my feet. They're so cute. They're so posy and just... <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so... Purple... This isn't purple, this is pink. Pink banded Druzy... Agate... Quartz! Druzy quartz, here we go. So, <laughs> beautiful gemstones. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm going on about. Look at this. Can't get this strand on its own. You can only get it in this kit. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that druzy beautiful? Can you see that? That druzy quality there. Don't you love it? Oh yeah, look at that, isn't that beautiful? What you're effectively seeing is the moment when um, the quartz, uh, which has formed over many thousands of years, has um, cracked for whatever reason, because the Earth's surface moves. In fact, there was an earthquake in Nottinghamshire the day before yesterday. Yeah, it happens all the time, happens all the time. So when you have many earthquakes, when you have tremors, when you have any kind of um, tectonic plate movement, you'll find that quartz agate, whatever the gemstone is that's forming, can sometimes crack. That, those cracks um, fill with rainwater, which solidify and calcify, and that is what happens with the druzy. Druzy is basically growing on the gemstone. It's absolutely amazing. We've dyed it this gorgeous fuchsia color. Look at these, aren't they gorgeous? And you just get to see that druzy quality even more. <gasps> mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. Okay, you're also gonna be getting 
pink color coated pyrite. Now, this strand here is amazing. I love it. I love the color of this. It's like a plum or a mauve. It's just beautiful. These are gorgeous coins of pink color coated pyrite. Absolutely beautiful quality. You're also going to be getting more pink color these are stunning rounds five to seven millimeters slightly more pink no actually it's about the same kind of color yeah it is actually the same kind of color this gorgeous kind of plum color isn't it beautiful that's a really autumnal pink isn't it it's beautiful like a dusty pink um, you're also going to be getting now when i first saw these i just naturally assumed because of the size of them i just thought these are um shell pearl no mm. genuine fresh water cultured pearls genuine fresh water cultured baroque pearls they are amazing absolutely amazing look at them <gasps> 10 by 9 to 15 by 10 millimeter genuine freshwater cultured pearls they are big now you've got four strands here with four different kind of shades of pink in they all work together beautifully don't they wait until you see the findings that go with this kit because honestly the findings go so beautifully with these gemstones you're getting 118 rose gold plated copper findings i love them the pink um from the rose gold really suits these um gemstones so beautifully in fact i'll show you with the um with the uh, gemstones gorgeous kit absolutely stunning um you're also going to be getting things like this gorgeous toggle clasp look at that square sorry rectangular toggle clasp i've also got these gorgeous flower top head pins Woo! Really, really, really pretty. Just gorgeous. Twisted T bar clasp as well. Oh, awesome. And you're also going to be getting monofilament beading thread and elastic just here. And satin cord. 40 meters of satin cord. Black, white, purple and plum really really awesome kit this one there's a lot going on it's a lot of gemstones a lot of different textures a lot of different optical properties a lot of gorgeous findings and of course a lot of your satin cord as well now price point for this kit is astonishing really all together this is where we should be 49 pounds for everything here today 49 pounds if you bought everything from um, um you've got here on our website right now out of this kit it would cost you 49 pounds yeah we're going to give you a saving we're giving you a gigantic saving here's your deal today that's over a 20 pound saving you're making there absolutely amazing price point there for all of your gorgeous findings for all of your amazing gemstones and for of course all of your threading pack and your satin cord as well 27 pounds 95p what a fantastic price point for you today well done lots of you coming through now at 27.95 that really is an amazing price point isn't it that is just incredible now the jewelry that um deb has made with this kit is really beautiful um deb i don't know i'm not i'm not really a pink person but the colors and the shades we're getting here with the rose gold it's yeah. actually a color combination i would wear i'd absolutely wear that combination it's actually quite a sophisticated palette actually isn't it it is once you get everything together yeah yeah and all of the the pinks in the kit some of them are actually um in the druzy were really dark mm. yeah almost um, like a berry colors aren't yeah, they yeah yes they're like little sugar frosted berries yeah they are they're absolutely yeah. like that um, um this kind of gorgeous. plum color is so big right now um from from looking from looking in the shops from looking at the kind of colors that are about at, at the moment in people's autumn wardrobes this kind of plum color is everywhere mm. you're going to be getting this plum color of course in the satin cord you're going to be getting this plum color in moments in the um, in the druzy um mm. quartz and you're also going to be getting it in the in, in the two strands of the beautiful um coated pyrite as well it's a really really fantastic quality to go for just look at all these pieces they're really lovely designs aren't they that pyrite is so mm. reflective. It is, it isn't it? Actually, looks like a metal. Yeah, it so does. when you work it in with the rose gold findings, 
it just it works perfectly they look like it looks like you've got the findings and then you've got a further yeah two strands of metallic spacer yeah. beads almost doesn't yeah. it because yeah. they do look really reflective see look at those pearls yeah. aren't they gorgeous they look so different with gold or silver findings i think with the rose gold it complements it complements yes. the pink tone in there beautifully yeah um now the satin cord it's a beautiful material to use isn't it and it is, it is. satiny smooth look how beautiful and simple this neckline piece is isn't that gorgeous just gently twisted around the neckline that is going to be such a joy to wear that one um you're going to show us a technique on mm. this pair of earrings here aren't you yes i think we all agreed this was such a lovely little pair of earrings that we it would be great to see a technique on these the great thing about this of course is that because you're getting a fairly translucent gem scent, when the light shines through these gems they're going to glow they're going to glow beautifully mm. which is gorgeous okay yeah they're amazing um and i love these earring findings i just think mm. uh, that they're so gorgeous I yeah, they're really lovely love lovely, lovely on their own actually they are they mm. are yeah um so what i did was um i picked two of the the darker um druzy lovely to go onto the actual metal work of the um the earring oh it's not that one that one's got a, a bit of a bigger hole than the ones i had that's all right or the head pins a bit smaller let's try this one um because I use the, the, ah, that one's better. So the, the really super fine head pins are what I use to attach it mm. onto the earring wire. Lovely. So it's really simple technique. All I did was thread it on and then hold the druzy yeah. onto the, the, uh, the loop, yeah, the circle, lovely. and um, feed the, um, the, the tail of the head pin through the loop, Posi positioned it so that the uh, any any uh, of your sparkle is sort of showing, mm -hmm. so it's not on the back, and then just wrapped the head pin around the wrapping that's on the earring finding, mm. so that holds it all in place and it just sits there, and you can either um, wrap the whole of the tail which is what I did up the length which gives a nice texture and just um, push that down so it's nice and neat so wrap 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 and get it around there and then um, to make the uh, the dangle section yeah all you need to do I'm just going to trim that tail off because otherwise we'll be here forever Okay, so for the other section on the earring, use one of your thicker head pins and use the entire length. You don't cut any of it off. Ooh, okay. Okay, because I like the metal with this. Um, and what it does is it extends the metal again down the, the length of the earring wire. Mm. So taking your round nose pliers, I went right to the fattest part of the, the plier. The pliers, yeah. And then just wrapped around, taking it a little bit further than than I need it, and then just kink back. Lovely. So it makes a really nice um, circle. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Just to almost mirror the circle that you've got yes, on the theory finding. Mm -hmm. And then just opening that up. Like a door. Like a door. Just pop it onto the earring finding at the back. And the gemstone that you've wired on doesn't sit so close that you can't fit the yeah, um, good. the wire through, and then just close it up, and that's it. So they're oh, it's really gorgeous. simple. I love that. So you could actually um, suspend maybe two mm. or three of your druzy in different shades and have them graduating down. The, the length of the earring they're just so lovely they're just going to move beautifully the gemstones yeah. look like they're made for this kind of design it's simple elegant so well the light then comes around and and they do really sparkle yeah so just they're with wonderful. the movement there it, it catches the light look at that and if you pick the ones of course which have got the druzy in as well they're going to yeah. sparkle even yeah. more they're just so lovely absolutely gorgeous thanks a lot for that deb that's gorgeous 27.95 fantastic kit here with all those beautiful pinks mm. and plum colors so right for now thanks oh, lovely. i've got a whole reel left of my whole reel of your satin cord left as the well. white 
Yeah. Goodness me. I forgot that there were four reels. Well, you should have remembered. It. That's actually a mistake, Deb. <laughs> that was yesterday. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, that was uh, yesterday's mistake. Just add it to the catalogue of mistakes. Or the day before, whenever. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep a little yeah. book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's lovely, isn't she? Gorgeous. What a lovely kit. Um, Okie dokie. Coming up. Within the next hour. Whoop, whoop. Oh, I was brand looking new at offer. those earlier. Are these 100% brand new? Brand new offer. It's a brand new offer. Brand new offer. Oh, it's a brand new offer. Brand new offer. It's a brand new offer. Woo, woo, woo. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> you what? What did you I'm very middle aged. Sorry, I'd, I have no idea what you're on about. <laughs> anyway, right, uh, so we've got uh, that coming up. Brand new offer, everyone. In a gold box. The next one's in a gold box. What, this gold box? I love anything that's in a gold box. Chocolates, jewellery. It is this one, isn't it? Yeah, it is this one. Don't start <laughs> taking the mic on now. Not that one, not that one. It is this one, isn't it? GD, what does that mean? Gems of distinction. Boom. Oh, it's a little window. You can see the gems in there. Oh, mamma mia. Wow. Don't be ridiculous. No, we're not doing that. Stop being silly. We're not doing that. We're not doing it. No, we're not going to let you do it. <laughs> Danny's being stupid with prices again. I'm going to take it really low. I'm going to take it really, really, really low. I'm going to take it lower than it's ever been before. I'm going to take it low. It's going to sell out. It's going to go really low. It's like an annoying brother, isn't he? Aww. An annoying little brother. Labradorite and rainbow moonstone. Um. Right, I'm going to show you the Moonstone and the Labradorite. I'd like you to kind of try and think in your mind what kind of price point you would expect to pay for this strand here. You are on thin ice, Danny, if you're going to be taking it that low. Look at this. Beautiful rainbow Moonstone graduated faceted drops. Absolutely amazing. The Schiller... Oh, beautiful baby. Absolutely amazing strands here. Just gorgeous. The Schiller's wonderful. And you know, if you're not getting Schiller, you're getting an ice white quality, which is lovely to get. It's not gray at all, is it? It's just beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at those little, those little peaks of, um, of Schiller are just gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, wonderful. Okay. Labradorite. You know the kind of quality of Labradorite we've had in recently it's been absolutely sensational if I just pop that one down there and show you the oh wow 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 amazing look at these look at those oh wow oh my word the most beautiful strand of Labradorite well um they're all top drilled hand faceted hand drilled gemstones here um I don't know about you, but I'm looking at these strands and I'm thinking, right, okay, they're both gems of distinction strands, which means they're of a certain quality, they're of a certain level, okay? They're both capacitated, they're both hand-drilled. Okay, they're both great examples in their field, yeah? Absolutely, 100%. Okay, price point for each of these. I'm reckoning... Ooh, I wouldn't want to... Mm. <laughs> I'm saying 20... Pa no. 1995 a strand at the very lowest at the very 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 lowest so what's that around about 40 pounds for the bundle that, that would be amazing wouldn't it that would be incredible yeah yeah Twenty-nine ninety-five. not per strand not each for both of them how insane is that how incredible is that what a treat for you today in my in my reckoning it should be close to 40 pounds oh no 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 we're not staying there by the way no 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 that's not your price 
This is how low we're going. 1995 for both strands. Yeah, not each, for both. Now, Danny, you are very naughty for doing that. You shouldn't have noticed prancing around. He's prancing around the gallery like some kind of prize winning <laughs> sheep or something. He's marching around the gallery. He's like a cockerel. He's like, rah, rah, rah. he's loving it. 1995 for both strands not for each you'd have to decide which one you're going to get you'd have to find the call center with that i'd like the lavender please for nine no no you get them both you get them both that's amazing that works out to less than 10 pounds a strand for gems of distinction quality you know that's amazing i know that's amazing we all know danny's going to get this out yeah it's, it's amazing <laughs> isn't it yeah well you know what you deserve it after that that's ridiculous i know it should be wait it should 29.95 apparently should be the price Oh, well done, everyone. You're going to have to get the, uh, sorry, you're going to have to get the text on the on this page here unless you want me to spend about five minutes trying to read it out. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. You, you know how to do this. There we go. Uh, hi, Carol. Oh, this is from uh, Tinkerdell. I love it. I'll, I'll see what you've done there. Lovely. Hi, Carol and Deb. Could you please say a big hello? Oh, here we go. Big hello to my daughter, Phoebe. <laughs> She's watching and making with me. She, uh, she is six and loves Aww. JM. Hello. Hi, Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe. Phoebe is six years old. Hi, darling. What are you making? What are you making with your mum today? What are you making? Bracelets? Earrings? What are you making? What are you making? Say hi. Deb, say hi. Hi, Phoebe. Aww. So I'm saying, what are you making? And I've got Danny in my ear saying, she's not going to reply, Carol. She's not going to talk to you through the television. <laughs> All right, I'm just asking. Asking her what she's making. Calm down. Hi. Another texter, Jill in Cambridgeshire says, morning all, having to watch you on my laptop in the bedroom. Ooh, um, sorting out <laughs> all my gems. Ah, my king size bed is covered and floor. Yeah, do you know what? Well, that's a problem, isn't it? May have an addiction. See, this is it. It's only when you start to get get things out and start rifling through them, you realize actually you do have a problem. <laughs> you actually, you do, yes, yes, you do have a problem with, uh, with gemstones, but you know what? It's a great problem to have, isn't it? It's not really a problem, is it? No, not a problem at all. Right, fantastic, 90.95 for both strands here absolutely gorgeous coming up we have got an amazing bundle of toggle brand new toggle class we've got black agate we've got green marker site <gasps> green green marker site amazing mm. deb wants these i do they're gorgeous black agate amazing 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 Loads of gorgeous toggle clasps. Here they are, brand new offer. It's a brand new offer. That's coming up after the break as well. We've got loads coming up. Do not go anywhere. We're gonna go over to the hub and meet Amelia the cat there. Welcome to the section of the hub. Now, I didn't say this in the last section, but this is your section of the show. You contact us and we do what we can to get that remedied. Whether that's a product that you would like to see on the show, whether it's just something that you'd like to tell us, whether it's the wall of fame. Um, and for example, we would then like to print off your pictures read out your messages and interact with you guys at home. So I'm going to start off the section with the JM News and this is a little bit like a look ahead, uh, let you know what's coming and um, kind of kind of uh, get you interested, should we say, in what we've got up and coming on the show. So firstly, we have got a new storage bag. Ooh! And that is going to be available in November. We've also got a mid-show birthday extravaganza and that's going to be, expect lots of treats, offers and surprises because we've got a lot brewing for that. Now we've also got some exciting new gauges of wire on its way so I'm not quite sure what gauges they are at the moment but keep tuned because we're going to have those available for you in the forthcoming weeks and most excitedly, most excitedly, can I have a camera too person please? Thank you very much. And lastly, why I am in fact dressed up as a cat is I would like to introduce you all to a little fellow that we have walking around the jewellery maker towers at this moment. 
We have named her Jerry Hallowell. Now, I'm not sure if anyone has checked on the gender of this particular ginger cat, but we believe it might, in fact, be a female. So, Jerry Hallowell, this is our beautiful cat that we can give some cuddles after the show. I think she'd be Jerry Halley Meow. Halley Meow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Our lovely Claire has just said that that should be Jerry Halley Meow. Well, we will see. We will see. I'll, I'll ask him, you know, next time I see him. Fantastic. And just to let you know, we've got some workshops that have some places available in the forthcoming weeks. We've got Wire Work for Ge Beginners with Louise Jacobson on the 4th of November. And we've got the Intermediate Macrame Session with Mark Smith on 11th of November. So wonderful. Now, we have had lots of lovely um, texts from you about which, um, about the role of the seasons in your jewellery making. How far ahead do you tend to buy, make your jewellery as is out of season? So if you can continue to text us in, then we will read those out later on in the show. Was that tasty, Carol? <laughs> Just eating a donut in about she 25 has. seconds. That was amazing. Yeah. No, I think there is one for you. Oh, there we go. What are you I'm being treated. We are, yes. I was wondering if we could just get these uh, read out. I feel like I need a shower. Yes. Right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Number 271. Beautiful. Number 271. This is from Rachel Watson. I went to school with Rachel Watson. Oh. She's from County Durham, but she lives in Peru, so I don't think it is the Rachel uh, Watson that I know. Um, Hi all at Jewelry Maker, this is my week's entry to the Wall of Fame. Macrame bracelet using smoky quartz large nuggets, wire macrame mm. bracelet and yellow agate, and lastly a memory wire bracelet with dendrite opal. Love the show, and that's from Rachel. Thanks darling, that's gorgeous, love those colours. No, it's beautiful mm. that. Wonderful, and I've got 272, and I've got a lovely wire work bracelet. Quite sure. I think it was a salmon, but I've never heard of salmon. <laughs> anyway, I do apologise, Claire. I am. Um, I, I didn't uh, finish reading your message. So she said, if you think Rachel's demos are fantastic, then I recommend checking out her tutorials. I learned so much making this, and I'm very proud of my first attempt. Well, it's a first attempt. Oh my goodness! Please continue sending in your designs, Claire. I'd love to see that um, all the other pieces that you make. That'd be wonderful. Have you finished? <laughs> just, just, just about. It was a long message. It was, but it wasn't. It was only two lines, and you were doing a sound <laughs> effects. And... <laughs> Number 273. Look up here. Look up here. This is from Victoria. I want a proper sugar buzz now. Hi, Joey Maker. <laughs> Hope you're all well at uh, Joey Maker Taz. Haven't entered the Wall of Fame for a while, but I thought I'd take the plunge and share some of my new makes with you. Oh. I have this lovely natural agate donut for my stash for, uh, for ages, and I couldn't decide what to do with it. But last Don't week, suddenly. It. Who? Don't eat no, don't eat. For goodness no. sake, don't eat the gemstones. Um, suddenly I had some inspiration via the lovely Abbey uh, hook and uh, why I wrapped it into pure copper before teaming it up with some agate and carnelian, all from Jewelry Maker, of course. The finished piece is quickly dipped in um, a weak liver of sulphur solution and polished. Hope you like it. And that's from Victoria. That is absolutely beautiful. And mm, I'm so glad you beautiful. waited until you found that inspiration because that is... That's a really lovely piece I of love jewellery. Well done to you, darling, and best of luck. Very autumnal. Mm. Wonderful. And the last one, number two. 274 is from Jill Smith in Rugeley and she says hi all thanks for the great shows and offers lately getting better by the day oh thank you now here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame made it yesterday for my Christmas fair use prionite which I love and fasted black agate using the Figaro chain which is gorgeous love it and hope you like it too I liked it so much that I might just not make it it might just make it to the fair and that's love Jill Ah. Well. A sound effect in that one as well. I'm going to make it my mission to do sound effects in every single wall of fame. Oh, don't oh, find your own ideas, missing. Oh. 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 I'm going to copyright that <laughs> somewhere. Help me to the quick. <laughs> Carnelian coming up after the break. We've got loads coming up after the break. Uh, you won't be seeing Amelia again on the herb. <laughs> You're going to bury uh, me under the desk. Gorgeous. That's going to be coming up after the break. Are you a cat or are you a member of a Kiss tribute band? Oh! oh. <laughs> that is very true. Oh, what a sugar high. Let's go and eat some donuts. These I'll see you in a second. Can you hear me up after the break? Yay! <laughs> the Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Get making and good luck.
You can make your own call using the bead reamer from the toolkit. Take a length of wire. Holding your reamer, firmly anchor the wire onto the handle. Then wrap the wire around the reamer until you have the desired length. Snip off any unwanted excess. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. When shopping with Jewellery Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Mike, tell me about that donut. I've got one, I know. Tell me about it. It's amazing. It's got custard inside it. Custard. You are kidding me. I had a Halloween donut. He's actually got custard on his beard now. Great. I had an orange, I had like an orange Halloween donut with like green, I don't know what it was. It was like lime or something. It's absolutely amazing. I literally feel like I could lift a four wheel drive car right now. Sugar does that to you, doesn't it? You're like, I could lift a mountain. Like Supergirl, like Superman. Right, okay. I've got a great deal for you here. Um, you have, oh, thanks, Danny. Danny's doing a little song for me. Brand new offer. It's a brand new offer. Brand new offer. Oh, it's a brand new offer. Brand new offer. It's a brand new offer. Do, 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 do. You've seen these in rose gold plated copper. I believe you might have seen these in silver plated copper. Um, both times they have been some of the biggest selling items of the day. I've got them here in yellow gold plated copper. Believe it or not, in each and every one of these pots, you are going to be getting two clasps. Two clasps in each one of these pots. There are 20 boxes, so that's 40 individual clasps. I've really been focusing the last few weeks on talking to you and talking to guest designers as well about the importance of finishing off pieces of jewellery in a really professional way. Um, the amount of times I look at the stitching of a coat or a jacket when I go into a shop, look at the way something is finished off, look at the way um, a handbag's finished off, look at how the zip works, is it a good quality item, is the, is, the, um, is the lining really good, is it of a good quality, has it been finished off beautifully? The amount of times I look at the way something is finished off um, has led me to think, actually, when you finish off your pieces of genuine gemstone jewellery that have taken you a long time to make, if you can finish them off with a clasp, which is decorative, which is a statement, which is much more than just a mechanical piece just to hold your piece of jewellery together, then you're going to make your life a lot easier. Not only that, but people are going to look at you as a different kind of jewellery maker. Uh, Mark Smith, I know, who uh, has done a lots of craft fairs recently, says that the first thing a lot of people do when they come up to his um, uh, craft store, like craft fairs, is turn his pieces of jewellery round, have a look at the back of them, see how it's finished off. 
it does matter. It matters a great deal, doesn't it, Deb? How it pieces of jewellery are finished off. Um, if it's finished yep. off in a in a scrappy, unprofessional way, what does that say about you? What does that say about your jewellery? Mm. If you can get a clasp, oops, that looks like that at the back of a neckline piece, what is that going to say about you? It's going to say I've taken care, consideration over my jewellery. I am a professional. Now. Deb, have you have you got any examples of of maybe something that you've bought in the past that's been finished off really badly and the quality's been substandard, or can you think of a particular piece mm. of jewellery that um, that uh, you've not finished off in the best way? Then you found a clasp and you've been able to finish it off in the correct way. Have you got kind of any 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 examples of of how using clasps like this can be really really well, useful? I am I am a bit of a perfectionist. Mm. Um, and it's really important for me that the clasp works with the design and everything yeah. is finished off properly and it looks like it's one piece yes it doesn't look like you've just sort of found some bits in the corner and thought oh they'll do yes yes <laughs> that's that's not how i want my jewelry to be finished off no so it is really important and um i've had shoes that have fallen apart because they've not been yeah you know, made properly. I, th I like the way they look when I first get them, um, but they're uncomfortable. You know, the sole's not fitted properly. Yeah, good point. And, and you don't want your jewellery to be like that. You want it to fit and feel comfortable. Absolutely, yes. And the, the findings, you want it to be secure on your yeah, neck or, absolutely. you know, in your ear. So it's vital. Now, Absolutely vital. The findings you're going to be getting in here, they are advertised as clasps. <clears throat> um, you can use them as toggle clasps, uh, but you can use them as other findings as well. Um, I'm going to pick... Um, you're going to be getting two in each one of these designs, OK? So, which actually is absolutely fantastic, and I'll kind of come to that in a moment. Um, if you're going to be making a necklace or a bracelet um, and you want to finish it off with a clasp like this, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Imagine though, if you wanted to separate this clasp out, you wanted to use this for a pair of earrings and you wanted to use this for a pair of cufflinks. Well, you've got two lots in each one of these designs. Okay, I'll show you some of the designs. Don't necessarily look at these just as toggle clasps. You can use them in a number of different ways. You can use them, like I say, as earrings and um, cufflink findings. You can use them as, oh goodness me, um, you can use them as little pendant droppers. You can use them in dozens and dozens of different ways. You're getting 40 clasps. That's 20 different designs. I love this one, this chain style one. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that an awesome design? It's like a, it's almost like a bike. Gorgeous, isn't it? Just wonderful. 20 different designs, two toggle clasps in each design, okay? Now, the price point is absolutely wonderful today. I don't know if you've seen these before in rose gold plated copper, um, but they have absolutely flown out the door in the past. They really, really have flown out the door. And today they're gonna fly out the door as well. Your deal today is absolutely exceptional. Have a look at this. For 40, oh wow, for 40 of your yellow gold plated copper toggle clasps, 25, 95. Now, have a serious think about it. Have a serious think about something like making your own pieces of genuine gemstone jewellery, yeah? Using clasps like this, finishing your jewellery off in really decorative, really interesting, really beautiful ways. What is that going to add on to your jewellery? Well, it's going to add on um, quality to your jewellery, absolutely 100%. It's going to add on a beautiful design quality to your genuine gemstone jewellery, absolutely 100%. But it's also potentially going to add on the kind of add on to the kind of price that you can sell your pieces of genuine gemstone jewelry on for isn't it it really is if you finish your necklace off with something like this rather than something just like a a really tiny little bolt ring clasp it's gonna it's gonna change potentially the kind of price point you can sell your jewelry on for using a clasp like this over using a really substandard clasp is really going to, look at me, aren't they beautiful? It's really going to change the way that people look at your genuine gemstone jewelry. Now, you're going to be getting 20 different designs, two in each design. So you, if you want to make them into earrings, if you want to make them into cufflinks, if you want to make them into a matching pair, or if you want to make a bracelet and a necklace design, or hey, if you want to have two clasps on a necklace so you can make a... Um, um, a long necklace into a shorter necklace and a bracelet, you can absolutely do that with these clasps because you're going to be getting two in each design. 
They're just wonderful. I'm just looking at all these different designs you're going to be getting here. I've got some more here as well. That's a nice one. What struck me about really this, Carol, is the weight within each of the clasps. Yeah, good call. That one's nice Ooh. as well. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Look I at didn't that. Didn't see that one. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. It's like a triple, a triple clasp, isn't it? So you've got like um, a little extender chain in there as well. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, the next time this is on, it's going to be uh, going back up to twenty nine ninety five. Today, for today, uh, today only, like I say, it is 100% brand new and it's £25.95 p a special introductory price for all of these. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful quality there. I just love them. I think they're wonderful. And being able to bring you this kind of quality, this kind of size for such a fantastic price, considering you're going to be getting 40 individual class. That's 20 designs, 40 individual class. That is absolutely amazing. And it works out to 65p a clasp. Can you imagine this? Can you imagine this for sale in a craft shop? This clasp here. Can you imagine that for sale in the craft shop for £1.50? I can. I can. Absolutely 100%. I can absolutely imagine that is at, uh, for sale for £1.50. No problems at all. Absolutely. It's not, though. It's less than 70p. Less than 70p for each one of these clasps. That is absolutely wonderful, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Just gorgeous. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads to get through. We've got a brand new strand, everyone. Brand new strand. It's a brand new strand. Brand new strand. Oh, it's a brand new strand. Brand new strand. It's a brand new strand. Woo, woo, woo. Do, 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 do. We've got to tape it. We've got to absolutely record, haven't we? Yes. Yes, says Mike. Hey? Brand new strand. It's a brand new strand. Brand new strand. It's a brand new strand. Brand new strand. It's a brand new strand. Woo, 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 woo. New strand. I don't know why they've just kind of spliced a bit on the end there. No idea why. It's just, it was, oh, goodness me. There are about five of us in the tiny little room, baking hot day, trying to record it. Okay. We need to what, sorry? We do need to record some bits for Christmas Day. Yes. Yes, we do. That'd be amazing. Right. Brand new strand, everyone. It's a brand new strand, everyone. Where's my bit of paper gone? I had a bit of paper. Here it is. Okay. Lovely bit of paper there. Okay, right, so um, this gemstone's been around since the, uh, well, goodness, but first born in jewellery um, by the Incas and by the ancient Greeks. You know, we're talking hundreds, thousands of years ago. Um, the Incas actually used to get incredibly large pieces of this gemstone. Um, and alleged, uh, it, it's, it's very difficult to know exactly what they did with them, but people like to think that, the, uh, that uh, they used them as uh, mirrors. Uh, Native Americans used to get large pieces of marcasite, um, polish them up, use them as mirrors, but also use them as a, dev uh, as a device for looking into the future and kind of um, uh, telling your dreams. It's a fascinating gemstone. It's been used in jewellery for hundreds and thousands of years. It really is right up there with some of the most ancient gemstones. Think of gemstones like carnelian, which have been discovered in um, tombs, which date back thousands of years. Marcosite's kind of up there as well. Now, um, the quality you're gonna be getting here is very, very different to the kind of quality that I bought you on our sister channels before. We focus primarily on black marcosite and marcosite from uh, Europe, which is absolutely gorgeous and it's wonderful. Um, this is dyed marcosite and I absolutely love its quality. I love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Can you see that dark emerald you're going to be getting? And also can you see those gold and silver qualities coming out of here? Well, what you're effectively getting is dyed marcosite. Do you know what I think it looks like? I think it looks like emerald green lapis lazuli. I absolutely love it doesn't feel like lapis lazuli because it's very very cold to touch very cold indeed it feels almost metallic a little bit like pyrite or hematite um this kind of color combination gold and green is great for christmas you know we all know that don't we um absolutely fantastic if you want to uh, make this into your christmas decorations wonderful if you want to use it in that way uh, wonderful if you want to make uh, christmas jewelry out of it um but do you know what i just i just love the thought of wearing this strand as a restranded necklace i love emerald i love emerald green i love smatterings of kind of gold and rose gold qualities this is exactly the kind of quality you're going to be getting here it's just such a lovely lovely strand of genuine gemstones buy 50 strands or 100 strands we buy 
more like two, three, four hundred strands of genuine gemstones like this. So we can buy it at a better price. We can demand a better price point. We can buy it at a better price point. And what do we do? We pass that saving on to you. Um, we don't <clears throat> we don't stick a load of money on top of it for us and then give it to you at a much, much higher price point. Seven ninety five. You know that's a low price. When we take everything into consideration, such as how much it's cost us to supply, um, how much it's cost us to facet it and to thread it, and then to ship it over from either China or India. That's where most of our gemstones will come from. I mean, they come from all over the world, but that's, but that's where our two main supply bases are, over in China and over in India. It's either got to be flown over or it comes over on boat. We've got to factor all of that in as well. You know, it's, it really is an amazing strand of genuine gemstones that I think, do you know what, if it was 11.95 or 12.95, do you know what, I think you would love it just as much and you'd probably be on the phones and the web right now, you know, as we speak. But if we can bring it to you at a lower price, so you can come in and get two, like Anonymous in Essex, like Anonymous in Chelsea, like Maria in Essex, like Hillary in Staffordshire have, then, then we may as well do that. It's in everyone's best interest, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Less than eight pounds for your incredible strand of dyed green marcasite. Now, um, Deb, you were saying you haven't come across this kind of dyed quality of marcasite before. Not the green. Um, what I'd you... use the red Ah, oh, no, the red's beautiful. Yeah, the red's Which gorgeous. Which is gorgeous, yeah. It's really rich. Do you think it's good for particular <clears throat> types of jewellery or accessories, or is there anything in particular that this jumps out for for you? Um... I used it with polymer clay when I, oh, I, I love used the idea. it because it's it's got a really intense colour. Mm. It can hold its own against some really strong polymer clay yeah, lovely. mixes, um, and it worked really nicely. Yeah, um, and I also I've used it with um, copper wire. Nice, but the gold tones as well, or the antique bronze. Yes, if you want lovely. To go for, you know, a, an antique -y sort of feel with it. Yeah. Because it's a bit like, um, it is a bit like an antique mirror, you know, where it gets like yes. mottled. Yes, absolutely. Effect. And I just, I love it. Yeah, I think gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? Mm. Actually, thinking about kind of antique mirrors and kind of mottled antique mirrors, the Venetians um, use this gemstone a lot in their, um, have used this gemstone a lot in their, um, in, their, in their furniture, in their accessories, and it became a gemstone which everybody could wear. Um, certainly around the Victorian era, uh, Queen Victoria wore uh, black marcasite rather than black diamonds, um, and black marcasite um, through the Victorian period became extremely mm. popular, extremely fashionable. Um, Seven ninety five. That I mean, that is a really, really fantastic price point, and hopefully, it's a kind of price point which everybody, every single one of you, can come through and get today. Lo lots more people multi buying as well, which I'm really, really pleased to see. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous strand there for less than eight pounds. Well done. Wonderful. My choice. Ah, oh, anything. Ah, oh, wish we had Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> wish we had Robert Downey Jr. in the studio. That would be, that'd be very nice, wouldn't it? Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure I'd get much work done, but. Uh, I don't want to pick. There's loads of great stuff. Oh, that's nice with the with the, the this one here with the helping hands and everything. Can we do that one? Can we? Yeah. Right, okay, I'm just gonna get it. I must show you as well what's coming up. Is it on the late show tonight or the uh, designer inspiration show? This new portfolio bag. Oh, Amelia, you're kidding that me. Earlier. Really? Is it? Okay. Um, this isn't coming up now, by the way. Fab. This is coming up in the in the late show tonight. Minio, minio, mini, minio portfolio bag. <laughs> mini portfolio bag coming up tonight on the late show. Not now. So these are the details for this. This is coming up later on in uh, tonight's late show at 8 p.m. in the 8 o'clock hour. Your mini portfolio bag. Isn't that adorable? Look, a little handle on there. Stripey. Oh, it's adorable. What's this? Oh, it's cute. Put your tools in there. It's got like a little padded fleecy bit here. Oh, I like that a lot. Gorgeous, you've got little clips in here as well, little zippy pockets, zip, zip, zip. Amazing, so that's gonna be coming up in the eight o'clock hour tonight in the Late Show. Brilliant, right, okay. Bumper bundle time. Now, um, I just need to make something clear to anyone who's watching on our internet, um, uh, anyone who's watching us on our live feed on the internet at the moment, you're not gonna be paying the price point that's showing to you on the internet at the moment. Um, nowhere near it, in fact. Okay. This bundle is wonderful. You're gonna be getting so much quality here. It's a bit of everything for everyone. Um, you're getting a pack of silver plated copper findings, which are just behind me here, actually. Silver plated copper findings, absolutely gorgeous. 118 of them in total. Lovely. 
Okay, so your silver plated copper fine is lovely elongated rectangular link chain. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. You're also gonna be getting as part of this bundle, two strands of genuine gemstones. There we go. Have a look at these two strands. So 118 of your silver plated copper findings. Orange dyed quartz and um, gorgeous multicolour agate as well. Lovely autumnal tones in here. Really, really awesome. 10 mil, 8 mil. Okay, so 8 mil orange quartz, 10 mil uh, multicolour agate, striped agate. Absolutely beautiful, yeah? Gorgeous, okay. You're also going to be getting... Oh, oh, look at that one there. Look at that agate. Oh, yum, 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 yum. You're also going to be getting ivory, cream, and blue waxed cord, 30 meters in total. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. So three lots of your waxed cord. This is really naughty. We shouldn't really have put this in a bundle, but anyway. This is Danny's fault. Danny made this bundle. You're also going to be getting Rachel Norris's newest DVD, Artisan Earrings. You learn how to make three different pairs of earrings. The Aztec, the Art Deco, and the Aphrodite earring designs. Um, the great thing about this DVD is you can be inspired by these designs as much or as little as you like. You don't have to make the entire design. You don't have to make the, in um, the entire um, uh, pair of earrings. You can just be inspired by that kind of teardrop shape. And Rachel is a wonderful teacher. She goes through everything in great, great detail. And you learn how to make your Aztec, your Art Deco, and your Aphrodite style earrings, okay? They're wonderful. We shouldn't really have put this in a bundle. Um, a little bit, little bit naughty. But anyway, we have. Ah! Well done, everyone, by the way, who's coming through to get this. Um, this DVD's only ever been um, shown twice on its own, just so you, just so you know. Okay. Um, you're also going to be getting two sets of pliers. Do we, do we, do we. Okay, they've both got comfort grips, which means they're going to be nice and easy to hold, nice and comfortable to hold, basically. Great if you've got slight dexterity issues in your hands or your fingers, uh, uh, kind of rheumatoid arthritis, because the grips are that little bit wider, a little bit bigger. This makes these a little bit more comfortable to wear. So you're going to be getting your side cutter pliers with your comfort grip, which are lovely, and your comfort grip chain nose pliers as well. In fact, do you know, if you're brand new to jewelry making today, this is going to be a great way to start your toolkit, because these two are like your two essential tools. The only ones I'd um, say you need to get as well are probably your round nose pliers as well, which you can find on our website on jewelrymaker.com, okay? So your chain nose and your um, side cutters. Now, this is something which I need at the minute. Your helping hand. This is the most amazing tool. I mean, absolutely incredible. This is your helping hand tool. It comes with a magnifying glass, which is absolutely amazing. Great if you're going to be doing micro macrame. Great if you're going to be working with seed beads. Fantastic if your eyesight isn't that great. Or if you're going to be working for long periods of time over a jewelry making uh, project. Because your eyes do get tired after a while. You may struggle to see the holes in some of the gemstones after, a, um, after working with gemstones for a long time. Um, a lot of our guest designers, in fact, most of our guest designers swear by this tool. The amount of people I see using this tool as well in our um, in our um, workshops is, is, is quite incredible, the amount of people who use this tool. Um, you can do anything with it, such as, uh, well, because you've got these two clips on either end of the, um, on either end of the handy andy, as it's called, or the helping hands. You've got these two clips. You can do things like uh, put chain in here just um, um, so suspend chain in, in, in between these two clips, add charms to your uh, chain or um, have you used a helping hand before, Deb? Yeah, I've got a couple of How them do you find it useful? Um, well, it's brilliant. It, it is an extra pair of hands or almost an extra two pairs sometimes. Yeah. And it stops me um, using my teeth, which I do sometimes. Ah, uh, yeah, do you know, I think a lot of our guest designers do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it's really good for that but also just to have the magnifier there mm. sometimes you know you just can't see what you're doing yeah and that saves the day yeah absolutely definitely it is the most fantastic tool and like I say most of our guest designers swear by this so you're going to be getting 118 silver plated copper findings. You're going to be getting two strands of gemstones. You're going to be getting three, uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, 30 meters of your wax cord, followed by uh, the artisan earrings, uh, Rachel Norris DVD, Rachel Norris' uh, newest DVD. You're also going to be getting your two pliers, your chain nose pliers with a comfort grip, and your side cutters with comfort grip as well, and your helping hands handy andy. 
£38.65p. No, 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 it's not your price. No, no, no. We're going lower. Enjoy! We're going low! Well done, everyone. It's a huge, great big bundle. 22 95 How amazing is that? Absolutely incredible for 118 silver plate to copper finest. There they all are. All of your gorgeous gemstone quality. All of your 30 meters of your wax cord. There is your uh, DVD as well. Your, uh, your newest Rachel Norris DVD. Two pairs of pliers. I know places where you'd spend $22.95 on one set of pliers, let alone two sets of pliers with everything else here. Your handy andy tool, and that's all for under £23. Isn't that just wonderful? Just gorgeous. You let to learn um, how to make uh, three different designs of earrings, which are absolutely gorgeous. The most amazing, amazing bundle for you today. Joanne in Derby, she says, Carol, I've been researching why your nose seems to be so itchy. Have you been kissing fools recently? Ah, or maybe just are you just getting ill? Hugs, new fan, Joe in Derby. Thanks, Joe in Derby. Um, kissing fools. I kissed my husband before I left for work today. I did, and I kissed the dog as well. Mm. And I kissed my daughter. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't get a chance to kiss Hattie this morning. She was still asleep. I didn't want to wake her up. It's kind of that funny time. I knew if I was going to open her bedroom door, she'd wake him going, la, la, and then and then that was going to be it. She would be up. <laughs> watching um, anyway uh fantastic and glad to know that you're a new fan joe yeah woo, 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 woo. well done everyone if you are brand new to jewelry maker this is a great bundle for you because of course you've got two tools you've got well actually you've got three tools you've got your handy andy and of course you've got your uh, chain notes and your um side cutters you've also got your two strands of gemstones you've got your wax cord which of course you can use with the gemstones you've got your findings which you can make jewelry out of of course and of course you've got your artisan earrings dvd as well which is a fantastic hour-long dvd with three fantastic techniques on there as well which is absolutely awesome there she is there's rachel norris with lovely jenny this is rachel norris who swears by the professional coiling gizmo absolutely gorgeous the earrings that she makes on this DVD, have you seen them? They're absolutely amazing. They are they? incredible, yeah. I watched the show when the DVD was launched. She's incredible, she made, she? Yeah, she is. She's got a brilliant eye for design, so Doesn't you know that they're just going to work. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Beautiful quality there. And if you came to get the gizmo today, that's half the job with these, is making, is making lots of little gizmos. Can you see them there? Yeah, so um, um, to make this design, loads and loads and loads of little gizmo coils. There they are. Gizmo, it's amazing, absolutely amazing. Well done, everyone. Twenty two ninety five, great deal there. Massive, massive bumper bundle there. Great idea for Christmas presents as well. You can split it up if you've already got um, a load of tools. Then you can give the tools to somebody else. Keep the gemstones and everything else for yourself. If you specifically want to get the helping hands tool, fantastic. Then come in and get it for the helping hands tool and, and give the rest of the bits to other people. Amazing. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Right, what are we doing? Which one? Ah, gorgeous. Brand new strand. Is your brand new strand? Brand new strand. Oh, is your brand new strand? Oh, Danny, do you fancy coming out here and singing it with me? Come on. Come on. Let's all sing it together. Come on, Danny. Any minute now. Any minute now. Here we go. 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 Oh, Danny's not afraid to have a good old sing song. Kim wouldn't do this. No, she wouldn't do this. You ready? Three. Two, one. Brand new strand. It's a brand new strand. Brand new strand. Oh, it's a brand new strand. Brand new strand. 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 Oh, it's a brand new strand. Brand new strand. It's a brand new strand. Woo woo woo. Do 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 do. Yeah. That was amazing. Thanks, Danny. Do you enjoy that? <laughs> Said he loved every single second of it. <laughs> Detect a hint of sarcasm in your voice there. Okay, this is black agate with clear quartz. Is that possible? Of course it is. <laughs> I like it. Did you like that one, Mike? <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? I've heard it often, but never get What? No, 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 no. no. I've, I've never used that joke before. Yeah. I've never used the quartz joke. Oh, no, no, I've made. never used it. No. Of course I haven't. <laughs> uh, okay, right, here we go. So black agate and clear, I bore myself. Honestly, I do. I, I, I bore myself. I was sitting here going, Carrie, you're so boring. Come up with some new jokes. Got to add some more jokes to my repertoire. Honestly, I'm boring. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have the scarecrow one. The scarecrow got promoted. He was outstanding in his field. That's very good. The magic tractor one, magic tractor. 
drove down the road, turned into a field. Um, what else? Uh, I can't think of any more. That's it. I'm like Deb. I just forget all the punchlines. <laughs> anyway, right. Black Agate. Okay. Deb's behind the desk, I'm by the way. If you're wondering desk. why, there's no one there. Um, <laughs> so Black Agate and Clear Quartz. Absolutely amazing. Check it out, baby. <laughs> so Clear Quartz and Black Agate. Oh, look. A bit of Clear Quartz there. Sorry. No, Black Agate. Isn't that lovely? Look at this one here. Ah, oh, look, totally black on that side. You're not expecting that, are you? How amazing is that? Oh, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love all the texture in this, in this uh, white quartz, don't you? Beautiful. Absolutely awesome. Look at this one here. Oh, yummy. Look at that. It just uh, blends into the black, doesn't it? Beautifully. Some of them blend in um, beautifully. Some of them have... Oh, look at that one there. Little splodge there of clear quartz. And some of them are just cut off like a knife point. Black, white. It's amazing, gorgeous quality. On this strand, so I haven't been haven't bothered to count them, you're gonna be getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about nine on the strands. Um, these are big, 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 big gemstones. Now, um, price point for this strand is absolutely ridiculous. I was looking at this strand this morning, and we were going through um, this tea bar of uh, gemstones, and Danny was telling me the price points that each one of these were gonna to go to, and kind of, well, he's gone against most of them, he's taken them lower than where he's taken most of them today, if I'm being honest. Um, no, you're not a maverick. You're just a bit... I don't know what you are. No, you're not a maverick at all. Maverick suggests that there's thought behind what you're doing. There's not a lot of thought at all. You should... Slap dash. <laughs> Slap dash willy-nilly. That's Danny. Uh, so, um, when he told me the price point this strand was going to go down to, I couldn't believe it. This is a strand of 600 carats of agate and quartz. I mean, that's a big carat weight there. It's huge, great big carat weight, yeah? Each one of these is a pendant or a centerpiece to a bracelet or a big fat ring. Oh, big fat ring. You know, you've got a huge gemstones here, 40 by 25 millimeter gemstones here. Absolutely gorgeous. All the way from Brazil, beautiful quality, absolutely sensational price point for you today. What price point do you reckon? Over 20 pounds? Under 20 pounds? Over 15? Under 15 would be incredible, wouldn't it? Under 15 would just be verging on the ridiculous. £7.95p. That, that, that price there does not go with this here, does it? That price there does not go with this. Does that go with this? No, but it's right. Just go for it. Enjoy it. Don't ask any questions, honestly. I don't think you'll be seeing Danny producing any more shows on Jewelry Maker. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Sarah from Worcestershire says, does Danny have a second not my postman who sings brand new box every time he delivers my JM treasures. No, he doesn't. Your postman sings brand new box. No. So he clearly wants his jewellery maker. No. Really? Hey, we could go viral with the brand new songs, couldn't we? Brand new box. Goes with everything, doesn't it? Tell you what, there's a lot of talent in the building here. We could really make this work, couldn't we? Move over, Simon Cowell. We've got the brand, the brand new songs. <laughs> brand new. Yeah, it goes with everything. Yeah, you can, you can make it work. We can make it work. Did, so does your postman. Does your postman watch Jewelry Maker then? That's awesome. I like the thought of posties around the UK watching Jewelry Maker. Awesome. Brilliant, well done, 795. Loads of you coming through for this. Um, lots of you multi buying as well. Again, a great strand to multi buy because each strand is going to be totally and utterly unique, which is great, isn't it? 100%. Yes. And don't forget, you've got your 94 day money back guarantee. That just sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But it's true until the 31st of January next year. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wonderful, isn't it? Well done, everyone. And um, you can add loads of colour to this as well, can you? Really, really bag, bagfuls of colour. Do you know what, Deb? These have got a similar kind of size hole to the um, orange agates that we, uh, sorry, orange, orange quartz we did earlier on. Yeah. Again, you could do the macrame yeah. quality with this, couldn't you? Yeah. And it, you could work the two together, actually. The orange ones with the black yeah, there why not. would look fab. Oh, yeah. Look at those. Oh, that mm. looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that does look really nice, doesn't it? Beautiful. Or even with the uh, star cut clear quartz we did earlier on. Oh, yes. They look nice. Ah. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Sorry, what was that, Libby? 
Oh dear, I've got hiccups. Must have been the donut <laughs> followed by the peanut butter sandwich that I had. <laughs> Say again. Someone needs to what, scare me? No, thank you. If somebody scares me, I'm in risk of saying something that I will seriously regret on live television. <laughs> I'm barely, I'm hanging on by my teeth as it is. I'm like, don't swear, don't swear. <laughs> right, Where, what are we recapping? The earrings, right, okay, lovely. Now, we're recapping the early bird. Um, <clears throat> I tell you what, oh my word. Debbie Bulford's over there. She's on our designer inspiration show today. I might get us to have a look at these, actually. They're you with us on our designer inspiration show today, Debbie? Yeah. Yeah. Debbie, do me a favour. Yeah. Do me a favour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on this big screen up here, will you have a look at these earrings? 925, here she is, here she is. 925 sterling silver brushed heart shaped earring, earrings Aww. with butterfly backs. Oh. Aren't they cute? They're lovely. Yeah. Brush They're 95 nice, sterling nice. silver. Yeah. 995. For three pairs! <laughs> the face! The face! <laughs> 995 for three pairs. Do you know what I'd do with those? Go on, what would you do with them, I'd Debbie? I'd get Fiona Potter with one of her heart resin moulds. Mm. And so you can see through the resin. So you could make little oh. pink or red hearts. So you could put them in the middle just as it's setting. And then you get the... Yeah. You know, but you see the heart in the middle. Nice idea. Mm. You with us on our designer inspiration show? I am indeed, yes. What are you doing? Oh, what aren't I doing? Got silk screening. Right. <laughs> Got brand new texture sheets. Yeah. Brand spanking <gasps> new. Uh, we've got loads. Loads. Fantastic. Loads. Thanks, Debbie. She'll be with you. Uh, she'll, she'll be with you very shortly. Mmm. <laughs> I've got me for four hours. Uh, yes. <laughs> Debbie's as we were saying earlier on, as Deb and I were saying, do you know what? Leave them as they are. You don't have to set them with gemstones, but they would look great with your um, uh, F colour. Look fantastic with your uh, resin. Fantastic with enamel. They're brush 925 selling silver. Three pairs with the backs as well, of course, with your butterfly backs, all for £9.95 P. Absolutely amazing. How many of these have we got left, Danny? Am I going to be able to get a, um, a, a pack of these? Really? Can I, can I get a pack of these then? I really want them. Yeah, go on. Really? Oh yeah, definitely. I'll definitely get a pair. Of, I'll, I'll definitely get a pack of these. But honestly, we were saying we were saying earlier on, you know, what kind of price point would these earrings be in your jeweler's window? Um, would they be would they be under twenty pounds or over twenty pounds? I can imagine a pair of nine two five sterling silver earrings like this. Of course, with the butterfly backs, a, a complete pair of earrings for between twenty five and thirty pounds. Yeah, in the January sale, maybe nineteen ninety five for one pair. Three pairs today for £9.95p with your butterfly backs as well. I suppose in a similar way that you described flower shepherd took earring findings as them into a little charm to go on a bracelet yeah. or something, couldn't you? Well, what I'd probably do if I got them was separate out the butterfly backs yeah. and use them with some other... Um, some of the other findings, head pins and things that we've got yeah. would make fantastic little stud earrings, yeah, so I'd lovely. use them with those. And then um, I'm a bit addicted to the lace at the minute. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. And I'd use those sticking into the lace so you'd get little flashes of little hearts on top of the what lace. What a lovely idea. And you can just then um, either stitch them on like little buttons if you make loops on the back. What a lovely idea. Yeah, or lovely. just bend the wire around. When it's a price point which is this low and you're getting three pairs, you might as well do something a little bit different with them. Why not? Yeah. Having people text in, they want to see what? Oh, photo fantastic. Well, you can get the phone in my bag if you like. Go rifling through my bag. It's like a white phone. Can you see it in that, like, old lady's pink bag? <laughs> it's like, honestly, if you saw this bag, it's <laughs> just... The, it's just the, <laughs> Okay, I'll show you a picture of Hattie this morning. John took a picture of Hattie this morning. Don't you dare throw it, honestly. Oh, I'm the, the world's most rubbish did. catcher. <laughs> I the branding. I the branding. I thought she was going to throw me the phone, honestly. That I'm really looked the like worst yours. catcher. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I've got four pictures to show you. <laughs> Hattie and this. This is Hattie. What do you mean, no, no, no? What? <laughs> What? Oh, you're going to do something funny. You're going to, yeah. That's Hattie. There's a picture of Hattie. 
<laughs> Lovely child, Aww. isn't she? Girl? What a stunner. Okay, so this is Nancy outside. <laughs> Hang on, I'll cover the branding up. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, am I scrolling it that way? Yes. I don't need to see any obscene photos of me. Uh, this is Hattie. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hattie outside the front door today. John was trying to get her to pose next to the two pumpkins, pumpkins but she didn't want to. This is a hood with like a, a stalk on the top. Oh, the next child. one. That's her at nursery. She's just arrived at nursery in a fancy dress costume. That's her. Oh, that's her blinking. Oh. <laughs> Little pudgy hands. Pudgy, pudgy hands. This is her at nursery, surrounded by pumpkins in the foyer, <laughs> like you have her in a little pumpkin costume. Apparently, they all loved it at nursery. <laughs> She's so funny. And honestly, those photos are going to come out on her wedding day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally embarrass totally her on her wedding day. Cute, though, isn't it? So cute. Little tinker. Love her. Made out of 100% polyester. She's going to be sweating <laughs> so badly. I'll put a change of clothes in there for her just in case. Oh, she's not going to wear, take, want to wear polyester. You'll take the hood Don't get down. too near the gas. And her hair's going to go with the yeah, side. Yeah. Just like, oh. well, she's got curly hair anyway. She's going to look like a dandelion clock, isn't she? Yeah. Right, okay. Clear quartz star cut rounds. These even sound amazing, don't they? They even sound beautiful and delicious. The facets on these absolutely delish gorgeous gorgeous big fat triangular facets on these i don't know if you can see them it's really quite difficult to show you can you see the triangular facets there you go aren't they beautiful they're really 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 big oversized facets so you are effectively getting a round gemstone but it looks a little bit misshapen doesn't it, it looks like it's a little bit angular i absolutely love this strand and the reason why you're going to be getting that slight angular quality is because the facets are that big they create more angles they create more facets so you get a slightly off um, uh, round shape which is going to give you loads of luster, loads of scintillation just a gorgeous texture and quality as well imagine that in there, just a, just a stretchy it doesn't have to be complicated, just a gorgeous stretchy charm bracelet maybe, so if you've got one of these if you've got one of these oh, here we go, I'm getting creative now so if you've got one of the, hang on, sorry, if you've got one of these little heart earrings if you came to get the earrings, yeah, make a little loop out of the back pin and just make a stretchy bracelet and just kind of insert yeah. these yeah. sporadically you could do that couldn't you yeah that would look really nice wouldn't that be pretty just in a stretchy bracelet it would look absolutely gorgeous really really pretty or get one of the rose charms we bought you earlier on we'll probably the, uh, bring in the details of those in just a moment the rose uh, carrier charms which are 95 sterling silver uh, you could pop them in between one of these um, in between this little star uh, star cut clear quartz uh, to make a really beautiful little space of it. Um, 11.95, really different quality here, absolutely gorgeous, and they're absolutely gigantic. They're all 10 millimeters in diameter, which is wonderful, you know, getting a really nice big size in these as well. Gorgeous, well done. On the what, sorry? The rose gold, oh, the rose charms. The silver ones, yeah, lovely. Okay, so absolutely fantastic um, deal there for 11.95. Uh, now, What do you mean? It's not a rubbish song to have in your head. It's an amazing song to have in your head, the, the mm. brand new song. Has anyone seen my glasses? I've lost my glasses. I've had, I haven't had them for like, where? Fine. I haven't had them for two weeks. I don't know where they are. Two weeks? Two weeks. Ugh. Has Fiona got any car seats? Car seats? Yeah, because I found mine under one of Fiona's car seats. Yeah. Who's Fiona? Fiona Egan. Fiona, oh, Fiona Egan. Why Fiona Egan? Why would Fiona Egan have my glasses? Well, no, she had, she had a car seat in the gallery. <laughs> she had a car seat in the gallery. <laughs> and your glasses were under the child car seat. No. For two weeks, yeah. For two, really? For two weeks as well? Uh, no, I don't know where they are. Lost them. Useless. Anyway, right, okay. I think Hattie has eaten them or hidden them. She loves glasses. Right, okay. Well, I want to show you this, but I haven't got... Oh, no, there they are. Okay, lovely. So these are um, rose detailed... Um, silver, um, oxidised silver charms. Now have a look at these. You'll notice you're going to just rose quality here. It's like a Tudor rose, isn't it? It's just beautiful. As I move it round, you see you're getting a little eyelet just there. Yeah. So you can pop a little charm, pop a little gemstone, a little briolette cut gemstone through here. You've got two of these charms, both with eyelets, both exactly the same. The 95 stunning silver. You're going to be getting a 95 stamp. Just, I don't know if you can see it, but just... Is it on that side or is it on the other side? 
on that side there look there's your 95 stamp just on the inside of one of the petals there which is just lovely slightly oxidized as well so you get to see all of that gorgeous texture running through and um, you get to appreciate all that wonderful uh, uh, texture because there's a slight contrast in the tones in the colors really really lovely quality here two of your gorgeous 925 stunning silver rose charm beads okay they're 14 by 12 millimeters in diameter 11 pounds 90 absolutely wonderful and it can make such a huge difference to your genuine gemstone joy it really really can do if you're using big 925 stunning silver charms like these they're lovely aren't they lovely big holes as well going through these charms as well so great if you want to put your um uh, big fat uh, leather cords through these abigail from greater manchester Je oh carol hattie is scrumptious yeah she's <laughs> lovely i do love her i'm quite biased though I'm quite biased. Yeah, but she is absolutely, yeah, she's a little tinker, I love her. Awesome, right. Sorry, oh, right. Amethyst, a double amethyst bundle. Amethyst, it's a double amethyst bundle. See, that works. We can make it work. I love the thought of a postman going down the road whistling the brand new Strand song. Brand new box, isn't that amazing? Itchy nose, itchy nose! Does it mean, oh, I've been kissing fools apparently. Like I said, I kissed the dog before I left for work today, and my husband. And the lips. Now I kissed my husband on the back of his head because he was turned away from me in bed and I kind of crept back and went, bye bye dad, and kissed him. Oh, the dog, proper kiss, on the lips, yeah. <laughs> proper kiss. <laughs> kiss a kiss, Maxie! Yeah. Yeah, not the nicest kiss. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't the nicest kiss, I have to say. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't do that. He just goes like that. It's fine. No, no tongues. Right, so <laughs> double. What kind of a person do you think I am? Amethyst and more. Oh, did you make this bundle, Danny? More. Going all the French, all the beautiful Parisian, and there. Amethyst and more. Like my chéri, and more. Yeah? Mon amour, my love. J'adore. Um, so beautiful amethyst uh, double strand pack here. These are top drilled, faceted, marquise shaped gemstones. They're going to be absolutely perfect in your earrings, in your tassels, in your necklaces. Can I pop this up to my neckline, please? Can I? Can I? Can I? Here we go. Oh, hair's in the way. Here we go. 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 Look. Ooh, I like the look of that. Look at the clarity yes. on those, Deb. They're amazing, aren't they? They are gorgeous. Stunning clarity. Absolutely wow. gorgeous. I'm looking through a window, the clarity is that great. Amazing. Look at that luster as well coming from the facets. Ooh, I'd have to make a great big brooch. Oh, and you know, flower brooch or yeah, something. Yeah, flower brooch. Oh, um, wonderful. With you know those tiny weeny little pearls that we had yes, in that kit? the two by three mils. Yeah, if you make um, oh. beady beads with yes. those, they look amazing as flower centers. I think that's a lovely idea. That's a really lovely idea. A brooch mm. is such a wonderful idea for this. Mm. Or something in a tiara, like a design on, 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 on the yeah. side of a tiara or something. Yeah, and I've got another nice. strand of gemstones as well. These are just beautiful. Look at these. <gasps> Again, look at them top drilled faceted drops mm. beautiful pairs big fat amethyst pairs say again 20 what each for the two danny's telling me that really That's really shocked me. If you were to, okay, if you were to buy both these strands now, they would both cost you together, not separately, together, $24.95, sorry, $24.90. I'd put that kind of price point on each one of these. I don't know about you, would you? I would. Yeah. The clarity, and they're all hand fasted and hand drilled. I'd put $24.90 on each one of these, let alone both of them together. But do you know what? £24.90p is not your price. We're going even lower. We're going sub 20 Oh, wow. Price slash. It's a price slash. Price drop. Oh, it's a big fat price drop. £17.95p for both strands. 
absolutely incredible for both strands of genuine gemstones here absolutely amazing 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 how incredible is that when you can get two strands of amethyst that look this great that look this awesome and amethyst is one of those gemstones that people feel very comfortable with it's one of those gemstones as well that quite often when you buy and when you start your collection of gemstones it's the first gemstone that you buy because it's a gem we're all familiar with £17.95 p for two strands of glorious amethyst. Absolutely amazing clarity, gorgeous colour, beautiful scintillation, gorgeous clarity, beautiful transparency. I think that's amazing. Getting loads and loads of you genuine gemstones on here. Enough for necklaces, bracelets, earrings. Oh, make the most of these bad boys. I love Deb's idea about making brooches out of the, um, especially the marquee shaped strands. It's a lovely idea with the little tiny pearls. Yeah, mm. lovely. I mean, Obviously, I mean, the, the classic combination is amethyst and pearls, isn't it? But amethyst yeah. and rose quartz, amethyst and smoky yes. quartz. Ooh, that that would be really nice as well. Yeah. Um, the, it works with so many different... Um, any any of the quartz family. Yes, any of the member of the quartz family. Yeah. Yes, so citrine. It would definitely work, yeah. Mm. Or Beautiful. peridot. Um, peridot the, or prainite as well. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Isn't that a lovely, lovely bundle? And 17.95 for both strands. I would 17.95 for each of these strands, I think is an absolutely amazing price point, but 17.95 for them both. Simply incredible. Well done. Helen says, hi, gorgeous people. I'm new to jewelry maker and I've only been making jewelry for about a year. I just wanted to say hi. Helen from Bedfordshire. Love the app. Helen, hi. Hi, Helen. Hi, Helen. Say hi, Helen. Hi, Helen. Hi, hi, Helen. Hi, Helen. Hi, Helen. H Say hi, Helen, Mike. Double L E N. Oh. Nice way to spell it. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, girls. How would you fix the brooch to your clothing, Deb? Ah. Um, Set a tape. No, I'm yeah. joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Blade yeah. You can actually use the bracelet memory wire. Um, and if you wire wrap or stitch or whatever your, your brooch onto the memory wire, Mm. And then you twist it in because it's so fine but really, really strong. Ooh. So that that makes quite a good brooch fastening. Um, yeah. But you can you can buy the brooch pins and things from the website. Yes, you can do. Yes. Um, as well. So it depends what sort of brooch you're going for. But I quite like using the memory wire as a, a pin. Yeah. On brooches. Nice ideas there. Lovely. Hope that answers your question. Thanks a lot, Jane. Gorgeous. Right. What do we do? Uh, so amethyst, yeah, seventeen ninety five for both strands. Isn't that gorgeous? Both strands, not each, but both strands. What? What a what? I've got Mark with us on the first of Nov this Saturday. That's going to be good fun. Uh, it's a mid show birthday as well this weekend. Woo! I go to a friend's house for dinner on Saturday night. That's going to be nice. Um, yeah, it's going to be good fun. It's going to be good fun all for joining him in a few moments uh from, oh I, yeah yay deb's crocheted with the elastic this is what we were talking about at the beginning of the show i forgot all about this <laughs> deb that's awesome it's i fun, love the way the gemstones it? kind of go they kind they, of they have a bit of a shiver yeah yeah look at the move. When, you, when you move it it um it's got <sighs> a really nice movement in the piece doesn't it just look at these gemstones they shiver, as you say, they do yes. shiver. <laughs> that looks awesome. But it, it picks up, if you crochet with it and you've got coloured gemstones, it will pick up the colours from the, the gemstone as well, which is quite nice. I love that. I want to see more crochet with elastic, because <laughs> that is... That's beautiful, Deb. I love that. That's so much fun. <laughs> So if you've got it on a bracelet as well, it can be like a stretchy and you just put it on. Mm. Um, but you can get that movement as well. So. The gemstones are going to yeah. shiver. How cool is that? <laughs> so um, this, um, this bundle, uh, you're going to be getting black agate, which Deb has used beautifully in this gorgeous... Oh, so this is made using the long gizmo core that she is now obsessed yes. with. Yes. Um, beautiful uh, <laughs> black agate um, and then um, two strands of your gorgeous coated uh, mystic coat very very subtle mystic coated uh, clear quartz strands clear I do beg your pardon crackled quartz strands which are absolutely gorgeous and um, crocheting with elastic I want to see more of that <laughs> I want to see macrame with elastic that would be nice oh as well. now there's a challenge that would be nice <laughs> Deb when are you next with us darling um I'm back on the late show next week on Tuesday perfect 
So Deb will see you on Tuesday. I'm going to see you on Saturday. Please don't forget the portfolio bag that's oh, coming up yeah. on the late show in the 8 o'clock hour tonight. It's going to be amazing. This is coming up at um, about 8 o'clock tonight. It's an amazing brand new mini portfolio bag. It's so cute. Loads Kids. of little pockets in there as well. It's been absolutely awesome having you on the show today, Deb. Thank you so it's much, love. It's been wonderful. But do tune in now to the lovely Ali Defoy and for the gorgeous Debbie Wolf. And it's going to be the most amazing show. Designer inspirations um, out of your minds. Have fun. We'll see you in a bit. Take care, guys. Tune in this Halloween and grab yourself a spooktacular deal with our spooky mystery gift. You'll receive a surprise full of fantastic treats and goodies with a huge saving guaranteed. The Spooky Mystery Gifts, Friday, October 31st.